just set. And now, make some noise for your cast into the grand finals, the beauty in her brains. It's Miles and Chance. Guys, thank you so, so much. King Steer, thank you so, so much. This has been an unbelievable experience and it's a fairy tale ending. Either way, we've made history. The York Sun has made the most unbelievable run to champs. They're going to champs! Yeah! <laughs> shed a tear. Miracles do come true. But we're ready to rock and roll on this one, brother. A best of nine. It's going to go the distance, we assume. The maps of Moza come through, Chance. How is your pickle, and is it tickled? I, it is as tickled as one can get. I mean, bro, we're going into a series for the first time from New York where, like, they can play relaxed and loose, and these guys now get to have fun. Like, the weight of Chance is now off their backs. And I think one of my favorite Krim interviews, and I know he's gotten fined for every single one, but what he was saying is, my team cares about Chance. I I care about winning while well, here he is on the main stage in the grand finals. This could be number 39. This is truly his home. Ogre 2 is out there somewhere knowing well and truly that the record is slowly but surely getting closed in on. Unbelievable stuff. But hey, it wouldn't be a Vanguard grand finals without knowing that we will have a brand new winner this major uh, right here, course. right now. Of course, LA Thieves, New York Subliners have yet to get a major chip under their belts. And by the end of this night, one of them gets it. LA Thieves, it's been a tough season, man. Up and down, there's been promise, there's been goods, there's been catastrophic failures. And right now, they're looking great. And, and I gotta say, more often than not, I'm a hater of roster changes, so I have truly loved the fact that these guys have stuck together through thick and thin and, like, waited this long and started to peak right at the correct time at the end of the year in the lead-up to Chance. And especially, we know Jcap in the back, he's probably been fiending all year to chop somebody on their heads, but, hey, he held back it's the same four from the jump. And honestly, these guys' chemistry has been out of control literally from the kickoff classic. They've enjoyed each other's company, like laughing around, having fun, even when the intense moments are there. And honestly, I'm not expecting this grand finals to be any different. Uh, like Thieves, you got to think of that individual prowess. You've seen the pop-off moments, superstar players. That's what's made them come so far in this competition. On the other side of the board, though, man, the New York subliners, it's been teamwork. That's been the name of the game. There have been those standout moments every now and then, but all that comes off the back of brilliant coordinated team play. And, and look, we're talking about teamwork, but we are going to a map that you don't necessarily need it. It is Bocage from map one, and an interesting one to get it started. The one benefit you get to coming in from the winner's side, you get to do the pick and ban. You ban a hard point, you ban a control. New York has the advantage, and what that means for LA Thieves, they rarely play Bokaj. So for the subliners, you come out map one and you punch them in the mouth. Here we go, Brooklyn. Map number one. This grand final. Your hometown heroes have made it this far. The miracle's complete. The pressure is off. Now it's time for some good old fashioned fun. Let's get it. That was last time we casted Kismet on this map. Most kills, most hill time, most non-traded. One of the single best Bokaj performances of the year. No better player to start with. Uh, he's been the super soaker for the squad. I mean, I've seen the words MVP getting thrown around, but for now, our Mountain Dew feature player, Crim6, gets brought down. It is a clean sweep for the members of the LA Thieves. They're going to take full control of Bokaj for now. Start finding that hard point time. Hydra, man up, finds himself towards the point, trying to slow down that accumulation of points for the LA Thieves. And you know this team means business, though. When they did their walkout, they were protecting this man on your screen. Maybe Hydra can start to fire. Hey, maybe your Mountain Dew featured player will be able to make some magic happen. But as it stands, pretty solid P1, in all honesty, for the subliners. And we put the spawn, get a little bit of that hill time. And we already know, last time these guys played on this map, Krim and Hydra started off slow. Not this time. Krim already, at least four kills to his net. Krim's had such a great tournament so far. You know, truly destiny in the making to get themselves to the World Champs. But now, can they go the extra mile and win the whole damn thing? Looking towards P2. It's all New York subliners so far. Of course, decked out in the yellow arrows, the white being the LA Thieves for now. Nowhere near the hard point will be the boys of LA. Slowly but surely combing their way across the map. Hydra going to be the man in the middle as he's finding himself kill after kill. It's a good look, but Envoy, a sneaky player at the best of times. Grim now trying to hunt him down. I mean, look, this is a slow paced Bokaj right now because LA Thieves cannot find this hard point. Not even contest time is coming through. Krim finally gets dropped, but you expect the trade to be in. The flank gets dealt with. This is as controlled as a P2 can get. Kismet in his home. Hey, at least is able to get traded out. Still Hydra collecting this time. 
This is a sizable lead. We're only two hills in. I lost man in the point. And look how aggressive he is. Flying forward, finding the kills, pushing forward, creating space for his teammates. They've got to get themselves across the map now towards P3. That's oh, the right hand oh, side of the yeah. map. That's going to be bottom grannies. And Crim6, he's coming in for a kiss. Oh, look at that spawn, too. Number three right in the back. Oh. Despite the fact that Octane's here, he doesn't get the kill. And, well, you still have a little bit of presence in the back. So, Kismet, the opportunity to make the play. You're not going to read this if you're LA Thieves. And everybody from Subliners now behind you. So, at least that should be a, a nice surprise moment to try to make this break. And, well, they're working through Kitchen. Yep, here comes the ambush. Kismet's going to try to find his way in. Kenny's there with the kills. Oh, baby, draws it there, finds another. Pull the last man up now for the thief. For the Subliners in position now. And so far, this has been a great hard point for the LA Thieves trying to get themselves back into the cage. I mean, it's funny how it works out, right? You get some unreadable spawns, and either way, just due to the mixiness, well, Thieves able to get inside, and now collecting a decent chunk of time. 20 seconds left on this one. Kismet causing problems, and, well, Octane now that next man Woo! in line, but he wins it. The automatons on this hill for LA, they started to come in clutch. Well, Kenny, by another set of kills, as he's been outstanding in the tournament so far for the LA Thieves. Across the map, we now go once again over towards Barn. Next hard point up, and it's got the LA Thieves in control. And, and this could be a money hill, right? They got a nice spread across the map. Pressure out towards P2, a man down by bottom hut, and really no great avenues of attack. Even the nades now connecting for LA Thieves. They were down by oh a massive God. amount, and well, maybe the nades connecting a little bit too much. That's the opener. Here come the subline is now from the side. Nades are up. Hydra bounces that one right back in his own face. Kills coming through now. Oh, baby! The New York Subliners, the break is good. And to the surprise of no one, it is Kismet for three. Crim6 on outer, cheeky Whoa. little angle. And ripping heads to make it happen. One small teammate and one massive break for New York, making sure they keep that lead. And it's Kismet, oh my god! What a kill! As he and Krim are running the show right now for the subliners, Paul and Hyder, they're in the Jansport chilling, just soaking up that hard point time. Over towards P5, we now go, Krim. Your Mountain Dew featured player. Nades up, trying to soften up the defense now of the LA Thieves. And that is it. Kenny's going to be that one. Will anyone be there to pick up a kill? But so far, Envoy roaming the bottom side of Granny's kills are there. Just keeping the attention drawn as his boys soak up the hard point time. Ah, uh, just being such a nuisance. But now the front of the hills at least open. But look oh! at the nade All now. Right, wait a minute. Everyone in the mix of getting those team nades. Octane getting tagged up at the trade they're in. Teammate, doesn't matter. New York still with the break. They break the back spawns, or at least they get that pressure. The break is on. You've still got the backside now from the LA Thieves. That's the avenue of attack. Slowly but surely they go forward. Crims eating the nades. Not very tasty, but for now, the shots, they are. Good kill. Kenny taken care of by Paul. Beautiful teamwork. The crossfire in now from the New York subline. It's a spree starting to accumulate, and Paul does get it. It was a five before going down, but the time now still ticking in favor of the New York subliners. They've got a sizable lead. And look, this is a map subliners love to play, and you can see why it is 20 kills for Kismet. It is a minute inside the hard point. His home is the objective, and he still fries. In the meantime, 50-point lead after one set of rotations. That is incredibly sizable on a map like this. New York are in their back. In New York, they've got more reps. They've got more wins. You name it. This is the map they wanted. You come in through the winner's bracket, you get the choice of the first one in, and that is why. Look at the score line right now. 45 seconds from P1 in our second set of hard points. And Hydra, 8 and 12 overall. Looking to change that in a moment. But for now, the map presence, that is what the LA Thieves have to work with. The question is, can they hold it? Well, I'd say at least for LA Thieves, right? Yeah, getting that pressure. Maybe some of these kills starting to go their way, and they still got those left side spawns. It was a 50-point gap, but now Thieves trying to make that climb back in the mix. You get the pressure out towards God Tank. You see Draza picking up two. Kismet might get the trade, but you've lost some of those reinforcements. Now New York have a bit of a long way to go. New York trying to make the break towards the first hard point, looking for spawns over towards second. Let's go for a quick listen in with the sublines.
That things are getting pretty frantic towards the end there, Chance, but you still have the lead now. Thieves maintaining control of P2. All right, well, Kismet is not going to be the band to make it easy. He does get traded, and we'll see how these nades connect, because right now, Octane, last man standing, and he will fall. A very scrappy P2 done. hill, but a couple nice wins back and forth. LAPs, they were down by quite a bit, but they have turned it into a fight. Kenny, the next man to fall, but these final 10 seconds, LA Thieves happy to collect. And as far as that rotation goes, New York, they have the entirety of the map covered. Crim trying to get the intros. You see the field side, though. That'll be the avenue of attack. And the LA Thieves are starting to heat things up just a little bit here. Exile points up, hiding from up top. Granny's trying to keep these members of the Thieves at bay as they are working their way forward. Into the hard point, we now get an envoy. The three spree continues. Reinforcements showing up, and he's made the run for it. He's in. Here's the contest. Tags are in. The kills are good. And now the Thieves with an opportunity to maybe make the break. The kills are there though, and Paul, he's swinging for the fences. Catches one more out of it, Kenny. The trades are on point. The Thieves have not been able to make the break. Subliners still in control. The Crim just went massive in that moment, by the way. A couple multi-kills he collected, and that buys you the pressure on both sides. Now you got again Kismet in his home, collecting the time. Nowhere to go, because Paul is roaming. And even Kenny now forced to, do I want to rotate? Do I want to fight for time? Hey, he's a fighter, but he will fall. Maybe the final bit of time goes to LA Thieves, but that is a nice sequence of events. Subliners, they bump that lead right back up. It was a good hard point as Krim keeps the kills going. Kismet though, 27, 24. That's Krim at 28 and 22, as these boys are absolutely cooking here in map number one. Rotations down, over the bomb we go. Paul still roaming in the middle of the map, absolutely slaying his way through the LA Thieves. I'm not sure if they're gonna be able to get closer to the hard point. Hydra though, oh no, there's only one left, it's Kismet. Out of the point he goes, into the trouble he gets, and man, alive, that's the break. Thieves are in. And, and I'll keep it a buck. If you told me that Hydra would only have 13 kills this deep in the game, and they still had a 30-point lead, I would call you crazy, but hey, they're still making this work, still out playing because of everybody else. Krim again on a three spree. They are locking this down. Again, the super soaker Kismet. One minute 45 on the hard point. As Thieves, the contest is still alive. They get the kills, they get the break. If they can get a few more out of this one, there's a solid 15 seconds to be had here. LaRue, smooth moves, finds himself another one. Hello. Hello. Excuse me, madam. I'm trying to win a gunfight. And there it is, Octane sliding in the battle, finding those kills back towards the river we go. I mean, this is through the corpses, this is creating the corpses, Woo! and this is winning the Gunny on rotation. Yeah! Hole for two, Kismet for the clearance, and talk about a way to break through on Dang. river. They are now just flying at LA. The draws are still in back L2. He's in a position now to contest his point. Krim tagged up, Kenny through mid-map, keeping things interesting right now for the LA Thieves. You've still got numbers on point. If Kismet gets brought down, that's good. Yes, now the Thieves in a spot to set up and try to grab the time. I mean, how good are the nades? We've already seen one from Kismet on this hill, but Octane right now looking a little safe. It's actually Krim getting back down and out on Void, trying to roam out and cause the problems. Uh -oh. But another teammate comes through. Maybe the opener for Hydra, or maybe Octane gets tagged just enough to send in Kiz right. to get the job done. Oh man, there's one play you want to send in to get the job done is Kismet right now. Frying 207 and 185 and climbing for the LA Thieves. They are not out of this yet. Envoy on a fight spree. As the LA Thieves now line up for the third and final set of hard points here in the opening map. And Bocage has been a banger as per usual. And man, for the first time in a long time, pretty much the entire map, LA Thieves on this hill may actually be able to take the lead. It has been a slow climb, but now Envoy on a five. He has the opportunity to flank. You see, he gets shut down. Of course, it's Kismet that drops him. And New York on a hill where things could get spicy. The kill's now going their way, cascading in their favor, and they're making sure to keep that control. Yeah, pressure's on now, mid-map. We gotta go big, LA Thieves. You're running out of time. Here comes Kenny on the flank. A massive moment now for him. Tags are in, not able to get the shots. His teammates now get involved, but is it enough? As Kenny's got to try to win another big fight. No, we can't get it done. Subline is still maintaining control. That's a big one. They retain the map. They're going to get the next 20 seconds if everything goes their way. Just keep them out of the hill and make sure you do not lose these spawns. That is the key to success for the New York Subliners. Still towards back river, so it should be a free and clear rotation Ooh. over towards this P2. And it might not end there. It could go one more, but Subliners certainly want to try to lock this one down. It's going to be Envoy up top, maybe causing those problems. But either way, they get to the first hill first. Envoy is gonna fall, this could be it. This could be it, and if this isn't it, it's a minute 16 on the game clock. Here we go. Octane trying to find it. Paul, he's on the barrel spot. A premium position of being right now to soak this one up. And it's starting to look good as the subliners now. It's a victory lap. 
as they've got mid-map control. The kills are there. You've got to go. LA Thieves make the run forward. Anyone there to get the contest? Yes, but no. It's Kismet from up high as the shots are good. Oh boy brings him down. Spawns are close. And in a New York minute, they take map number one. And, and Miles, I got to say, how many times are we going to watch Kismet in respawn be top kills, top damage, top objective time? He does it all. We're watching him get the nade kills. And honestly, the way the timings have been going, I swear he might be the player to watch if you want to learn how to play this game. He has been an absolute menace. And I'd say through stage four in New York for what, 13 and two in hard points, he is without question the main factor why. Yeah, hard point being the name of the game for the subliners to help get them this far. It was a massive difference maker for them. The lead here in this grand finals, they're on the cage. Now, Charles, the start of this series is an interesting one. We'll come back to that later. But now the stats, Kismet, sweet mother of God, 41 and 34. Hey dude, I thought the last time we saw this scoreboard, maybe that would have been the most impressive Kismet performance well to open up the grand finals. Finals. Maybe it's this one, man. 14 objective kills. He is leading in every single statistical category except for what? The non traded which Prim took over. And I mean, hey, gotta give credit to him as well. The one time they actually lost a hard point this entire tournament, it was on a Bocage, and it was because guys like Prim just had a slow start, but the walkout so much more serious, which means the gameplay will be on point. I mean, he had a slow start in the game, but in that first walkout, man, he was hitting pace down this ramp, getting towards that main stage. I tell you what. Here we go, though. Look at the highlights there from map number one as the New York subliners take the lead here in this grand finals. The LA Thieves, not their map of choice, Chance, let's face it, because the opener here was definitely one of New York's faves. Yeah, this is without question how this map one was expected to go. Uh, LA Thieves have banned it, you know, 70-something percent of the time. It has been their auto veto uh, and they've only played it once in like the past three stages so make no mistake new york when they were doing the pick and ban it was obvious to make sure they were going to get the bocage through yeah if the la thieves fans back home don't worry this map number one loss is nothing to be too surprised at but either way good form coming into this one again kenny and draws the fantastic performances to get them to this grand finals and as far as the kills go i mean at this point in the game so so close look how even the stat line is for almost everyone on the la thieves i came into this one expecting this to be much more of a solo show way more individual performances those superstar runs but no la thieves bringing it all together good looking on the teamwork just not able to close it out there in map number one and i would still say an important thing as well right just the fact that hydra a bit of a slow start well hey you got him to map two and towards desert siege we go now this is actually a pretty solid map for both teams but honestly la as of late especially in search and destroy have been on a tear so it's an important one for them to get they get the berlins after this Obviously, the Berlin hard point was a banger between these two teams, but I'm looking at that Berlin control. I'm surprised. That is the only thing that threw me off coming into this, that New York actually bans the Tuscan control instead, because earlier on Berlin, they got 3-0 smacked around just a little bit, but hey, they're going to run it back, so we'll see if Subliners have something cooked up for there, but so many of these maps throughout this series Honestly, could be a little bit 50-50. I know New York have had the edge in hard point, but after that, it is incredibly difficult to predict. Yeah, this is going to be an exciting final. Whatever happens, again, looking for those hard points to go the way of the subliners and everything else basically up in the air. The LA Thieves, though, current form to get them this far in the competition. Nothing to be sneezed at. Finally starting to see them fulfill the potential that we've seen all year long. Octane, unbelievable work with the sniper. And again, as far as the highlights go, Chance, Big hits here on Desert Sea. And, and what a phenomenal stat to have. I absolutely love it. So, I mean, man's nearly dropping a two with a boomstick in hand. And you already know, guys like Paul X on this map will absolutely turn it into a battle. Desert Siege can be, you know, certainly a chess game. And I know some honors will be happy to play it, right? We've seen in them in moments where they're dealing with glide bombs, they're dealing with all sorts of problems, and they come out on top and they deliver. Well, you know, LA Thieves are going to be a team to put the pressure on. And LA Thieves also a team that looking for that very quick bounce back. It'll be important for them. We'll see. Almost ready to go. Here now into map number two of this grand final. Desert Siege, Search and Destroy is now upon us. Look out for big snipes, highlight reels, indeed. As our friends over at Aim Labs have certainly enjoyed the show we have been putting on with the big old car 98K. Here we go. An opportunity for the LA Thieves to level up the series right here.
And it'll be interesting to see their approach on offense, right? You know a couple standard things. Krim is the guy that likes to play the bottom right side of the map. He runs that tower. And you want to attack him. You want to attack the top side of the map where you know Paul X is going to roam. And this is what Octane's going to be looking for. Maybe see if he can catch Krim off guard. Back to Novoi. And that's a first blood. Kismet. <laughs> Straight into the kill feed. They, this is a quick readjustment. Look where they're going. Ooh. Into the line of fire, and Octane maintains it. Funnily enough, that's actually the B side more open. You got options for this 3v3. All misses, but Octane does not. 3v3 now. And Hydra, he's winding up for the hit. He's got no idea that Dras is so close to him. Meanwhile, on the flank, Kismet trying to be the man to basically win the map for his boys and bring a brief moment. But for now, here comes the hit. I mean, he's got it for free. The question is, do you actually check this spot? Octane will be posted, or maybe he'll actually move. The timing could be beautiful for the freebie, but oh my God. the bomb has oh gone down. God. He didn't go all the way around, and they're able to take him down. The flank is dealt with 2v3. One problem dealt with now, looking towards the middle of the map. There's going to be red dots all around the place. Kenny, head down, makes a run for it. Octane levels it up, and now it is a 1v3 Hydra. What do you have in store? We're less than 30 seconds on the clock. I mean, hey, they got first blooded in just every single adjustment for LA Thieves on point, and nothing you can do. Hydra, he's going to go for maybe the old college try. Oh! Wait a minute. See if he can get flashy, but you're just looking for the kills. No hope of clutching this round. I mean, look, if he picked that bad boy up and managed to rip LaRue off that one, I'd have been screaming. But for now, the round is done. The LA Thieves, man advantage. Round is theirs. And, and just again, just clean adjustments on the outset, right? Paul X misses with a one shot. That is the opener. And I know Kismet, when he watches that one back, is going to be disappointed because we saw how free it was. But it was for sort of the half cut instead of all the way around. And, Ends up getting great coverage, so the LA Thieves teamwork hang off in that round, but now the subliners turn to attack. Two for Kenny, two for Octane. Not bad for a guy that dropped double donuts not too long ago, man. Octane has had a wonderful turnaround in the Search and Destroy game mode, finds himself here in the Grand Finals, and man, can he catch a snipe or two? Spots Hydra. There's plenty of players out there. Oh, but Krim. Cuts him down, first blood. Fancy angle, fancy death. Another first blood from New York subliners, and they still have the intel on Hydra, but the nades don't connect quick enough, and this is just time to take it down. Why is Krim trying to provide the covering fire? Draws is gonna be right back there just to pin him down. Kismet from up top. Waiting for any kind of cue from the teammates. On oh, boy, wins a big one there. So Hydra now drops out. Back over to Krim. And the shots are in. But once again, he and Draza can't get it done. Paul's now on the back line as Kenny is stuck on through. It's a 2v2 with 15 seconds on the clock. And Kenny finds it. That's four in a row now. Could Kismet get anything done? He's going to go big. And he's pulling out all the spots. Ah, oh, no! That is it. There is not a whole lot you can do. Are you not entertained? Kismet with a cheeky smile right there <laughs> for the cheeky spot. I mean, hey, TSD has known about it for a hot minute. <laughs> We've been saving it for the important moments. Welcome to the finals. I mean, look, back in 1945, you know, you know buildings weren't made of that tough of stuff. If you can see it, you can probably wall bang it. And that FMJ on the MP40. Oh, my God. <laughs> Does it hit? Well, there we go. We level up the series and Kismet now, he's feeling very bold indeed. Maybe able to manage to catch a player or two here. His mid-map will be all his. He does have Envoy above him, so the invader is there. But for now, we'll see what happens. I mean, this is the, the pure battle of timings. Oh, wow. Who's going to get that win in the middle of the map? Or maybe who hits the snipe? The best KD for a reason. LA Thieves finally get a first blood, but instantly trade it out. Kismet now trying to peek his way through and just catch anyone now from the LA Thieves out and about in the many dunes of Desert Siege. Octane at the back. Oh, my God. Kismet stuck through. Catches the kill. Trades are immediate, though. As Draza now finds one more. And Krim, the GOAT. The Mountain Dew featured player finds himself in a 1v2. Well, they haven't read this at all. He's chucking the nade, but he's chucking it away from the middle of the map. So I don't think they're going to read this flank. Octane, though, starts playing aggressive. You get your sniper to take the bomb. Or maybe just let Draza protect. Oh, my God. Krim might have set himself up for the round here. There's Draza. The damage is dealt. Octane now. A single bullet is all he's going to need to bring Krim down. The bomb planted. The 1v2 situation now. The glint of the scope. The tags are there. Octane has to back up. This should be it. Uh, you have him pinned down. You got nades coming through. You've got the snipe to force him back. 
Just play mistake free and LA Thieves should be able to get this clutch. Maybe try to make a move through the middle of the map, but you just have to shred one player. You gotta look for the insta-kill. Has no idea where Octane is. Trying to slide out, make a bit of noise. 20 seconds! Onto the bomb site. he's now made it. As Krim, step by step, inch by inch, finds himself here. And there's a big old tag, but it's gonna take more than that. That's the 40 there from Octane. Gives the Thieves the round, and they take the lead. And, and honestly, right, I was thinking Krim was going on that flank, and LA Thieves wouldn't have been able to make the read, but the place they were planting the bomb for, you saw how aggressive Octane was getting just to sort of flip the map on its head. So that is a perfect play call in Desert Siege. LA Thieves not making a mistake, and for the moment, Octane is sort of dominating that sniper battle. All X right now just sitting at one and three. I will say, though, I don't know if you want to let New York get this bomb down at B. You got cheeky spots you got to deal with. It's never a fun retake. They love to be aggressive, and look at how these oh, are wow. playing with it. Krim is thick. Aggression now. It's the Thieves. They've got B-bomb site completely covered. Bodies are up. Envoy trying to find something as Octane has been the man with the sniper. Paul on the other side, not nearly as much. Nerves again, maybe. This is his first major grand final appearance. Kenny with the first blood. Another first blood for LA. Again, you get the man that has the hot hand over towards outer. I mean, look, you know, our sub honors have the middle of the map. There's no bombs in the middle of the map. No chill. We're at negative chill. As I think Draza, Hydra definitely heard that one, took care of him. 3v3. <laughs> Jesus, New York. Three versus two. <laughs> man advantage, bomb down. Here comes Octane. Never gonna spot Kismet in this position. Trades are there, 1v2. You got at least a tiny idea of where these players are, but are you gonna okay. make this read? Are you gonna make this read? Are you gonna check this one? I don't know if it's gonna happen, and I will be hesitant to say if at that moment in time, the fifth man may have helped out. It's hard to tell, but either way, we're at two to two. There is a, you know, 5% chance that play works online. I'm dropping that to about zero that it works on land. Fortunate situation to be sure, and an interesting idea for Mach 10. Things tied up two to two. Nice little round two, right? You get first blooded, you bounce back. Go in the distance here on Desert Siege. Kenny, six and three. Not bad looks from him whatsoever. No, nope, no one's there, Ken. Don't worry, brother. Mid map now we go and pull. The stuns don't land. And this is an aggressive round out. The subline is on defense. They're flying forward. Hydra's gonna get taken care of quick. Envoy's gonna get the plant down. Advantage, LA Thieves. And he has been on point with the first bloods. And for this three versus four retake, you're praying for a pick. He knows he's there, Ooh. but the angle, you think Draza plays S and D8, he knows he's safe. Yeah, he knows he's well safe. That can't be banged that he takes care of Krim as well. That's huge. Paul, though, is going in. Catches the ankle. No more kills to be had now. Is this a 1v3? Kismet, what have you got in the tank? Nothing. Thieves win. Banging him out with the sniper. Clean shot from Octane. Another first blood for LA. And now their advantage in this game. Perfect angle, perfect coverage. Kismet, his only play is to fly into a pinch. And that round right there, reaction time from Envoy. Making sure he gets the trade on Draza. Fishing work for LA, but now that New York is back on the attack, I think it's a similar situation for LA where you have to play aggressive on this B site. Even when they did, the late round adjustments on the attack for New York were on point, but I feel like spots like that from Kismet, how aggressive they be, it forces your hand and they're meeting up at B. Here we go. Wow, good tags on a Hydra, but not enough to get the kill. Here comes Kenny now, clean him up. That's gonna be another one, 2v3. Hydra with the immediate recovery and the bomb taken clean care of. Big shot, Santa Paul. Makes it a 2v2. He brought the gunny, but LA Thieves are being aggressive all over the map. Draza also up in your face, and now Krim, or Paul, excuse me, feels pinned back in spawn. Players for LA are split. You can pick them off one by one. Now Paul's doing this with dead silence activated, so he will not be making any noise whatsoever. Will Draza notice this as he takes a little look towards oh, mid-map, wow. and that is an unfortunate bit of timing. Will now the gunny prevails? Paul still in this 1v2, 45 on the clock. And now it's perfect. You just get Octane to watch over Draza. They can group up together. And at least you are able to pick up this bomb. Maybe okay. get the picker. Oh! Just get gone. Okay. That would have been the tiniest of margins, the littlest of the back of his head to catch that shot. Big one from Octane, and here it is. <gasps> Damn. Has he missed the shot? Uh, I don't know. Octane has been pretty on point. I mean, Again, 1.73 with the sniper. I mean, 
Yeah, he's getting first bloods left and right. He's getting the final kills in rounds. And again, you pointed out the double donuts right now. He's playing like a monster. He's eating six and two. I mean, you called it out what, way back at, I think, kickoff. You don't miss. It's four to two now. LA Thieves with the lead, looking now to stretch the lead even further as Hydra. Over towards the A bomb site, and Envoy is heavily tagged. Paul, the first blood. Kismet now getting in the fight. Good trades coming through. 3v2 advantage subliners. Get the kill and get out, but still that two versus three. And you see an automaton on oh, quite a few of these New York players. And you're checking <laughs> the angles. You know where he is, and you're able to drop him. Krim gets his second. And Envoy left by his lonesome, and he is in a triangle. He's so surrounded. And there it is. Subliners, calm resolve. And this aggression on defense from both of these teams has been on point. We've already seen from New York, you don't want him to play on B. And now even New York on defense, just flooding up the train side of the map. So it's LA Thieves on D, want to stay on theme. They were very aggressive to attack this B bomb site last time. I don't think Envoy is going to be able to use the same corner again. So you need to pull out a different strat. And it looks like LA Thieves are keeping things a little bit mixy. We might be hitting A, but there's a lot of players now through mid. Sideliners are in. They truly are inside mid. The whole team is here. Kismet will be spotted through the window. Draza opening shots, opening kill. Now what do we had as Krim levels it up, 3v3. You, you trap them all in though. This is a situation, we talked about the triangle. Envoy though, he got spotted. Oh, New York knows. Oh, here he goes. He got spotted though, but are you gonna make him of it? Oh, it's awkward. Hydra, they double back, they screw the timing up on that one, and that's an easy kill. Now over to Kenny and Octane. Octane's popped himself for dead silence, and he's making his moves now. However, New York still with the bomb in hand. And how quickly can you get this down before LA Thieves get the information? It is one man in either site, but as soon as you make a little bit of noise, the rotation's gonna come through, and now uh -oh. Kenny, he knows that is bombed down, and Octane can come support him. LA Thieves have grouped together for a 2v3 clutch. Kenny calls in the big gun, and Octane's here. Hydra with a recovery. Bomb now in hand. They're making their way across map, but that's where Kenny comes into play. He might be in that top tower spot, able to see Hydra on the transition here. You have all bases covered right now for the LA Thieves. This is a solid setup with 20 seconds left. It's the same thing on defense. One man for either cross. Octane the man getting nice and close. And oh that my all god. Duty timing at its oh my god. The barrel obscures the view, and Paul manages to slip on through mid map. Here we go. Stay down, Paul. You have no idea how much trouble you're in. And Kenny gets to move into position. Octane's Woo! got him pinned down. Kenny gets to move. The freedom on the map is there. And now we'll one versus two from Hydra. Bomb down, but this is so much time. How good is your timing? Kenny, now you have to cover Octane as the move comes in. There's the hip fire. Oh my God. Timing is good, but it's still a 1v1. Kenny making the moves and he's so close, but Hydra! That is a devastating 1v2 to equalize. Practice your snakes at home. They will win you rounds. Perfectly played from Hydra. And honestly, even for LA Thieves, there's almost nothing you can do in that situation. Octane with the pistol. He's not hopping the bomb. He is waiting for that chow, but Hydra woke up a little bit after that map one. He brought the strap and Now that was four in a row in a 1v2 clutch. Just to even those odds. Tied up. Leading towards the A-bomb site right now for the LA Thieves. They haven't made too many moves there. We've seen the plant come down previously, but Octane once again remains with that sniper in hand. He has been effective with it. He has cut off that B side of the map mostly for the New York subliners, but for now, Krim's going to square up on that side of the map. And keep in mind, for New York subliners, how aggressive they played on the last defensive round. You had LA Thieves turtle up a little bit. This play for pick style. Oh. Strike one. Another bit of a whiff. Kismet, though, does not. At that range, it'd be hard to. As Paul has managed to let that player Draza get that bit closer with the bomb. Envoy found a rap, by the way. He got in a little bit close. Talk about routes. Hydra's gonna pounce. Hydra with the free kill. Man advantage. He's on a five and Oct or Envoy gets caught again. He just gets spotted. Hydra shuts him down in Octane for the 1v3. And you want to feed Hydra this kill. There he goes. Look at He's going in. Perfect. He's going in. He gets it. Map point. Subliners. I mean, just feed him at this point. Why don't you? They spotted Octane on the cross. The stun lands at his feet. Hydra gets sent in. And one more round. 
And you got a glide bomb to make it happen. I don't know if this is the time. They are so on point with their aggressive B plants, but that A bomb site looks so sweet, wide out in the open. Oh, clear skies, good flying conditions, that glide bomb. Mmm, we will see. It's a seven. It's free for Hydra, and he is and feeling himself now. Th this has to be homework. They've just dominated the middle of the map so many times. They're playing around it. And they've been successful. Here comes the glide. They have the middle of the map. And they've got it. If you run inside to hide, you're in trouble. Hydra lands at least one on a Kenny. Good night. We'll see you in the next map. As Hydra gets it going. Here's the quick plot now in a 4v2. I mean, Envoy or Octane, someone's got to make the big play. The flank coming through. Well, there's number one. Three more to go. I mean, I may have prematurely called this one. Kenny may well be found in that round. 11, oh my word. Two more. Hydra's done. The silver bullet for that monster lands. And now to Kismet on the outside of the bomb site. He's been there so many times. 2v2. Crims on the other side. Will he watch this? Oh, oh my god. My god. Octane god. makes it that bit more interesting. It's now Kismet from behind. It's now a 1v1. This is it. To stay alive! <laughs> and who else other than Kismet? to close the round out, my God. What a closer that was. At this point for Kismet, it truly feels like destiny. That was a two versus four, where Thieves are picking them apart, making the big plays in Octane. I mean, dear Lord, he truly does not miss. Oh my God. The ego on that man. Also though, the brain, he eyes up Octane. Waits a second or two because you know Envoy's going to make that close play. He's the guy running a sub. He gets that little bit closer. You wait until he's in that kill range. You pounce and you give him the teeth. What a play from Kismet. 2-0 in the series. And, and look, man, how many times on offensive rounds the New York subliners just dominate the middle of the map and make plays off of it? Even in three versus fours, they were making those clutches. And then funnily enough, you were thinking about glide bombs for the post plant. Instead, it is, hey, we have all of the indoors on the map. You call on that glide, it's a freebie. You get the intel on Draza, and you just put yourself instantly in a four versus two. I know it got spicy, but hey, 12 and seven from Draza, the two piece from Kids delivers. And that's gotta be a painful one for Thieves, because that is prime Octane with the sniper right there, and it wasn't enough to get the win. I mean, we, he was saying World Stars, but it's just not enough, as there we go. The New York subline is starting this Grand Finals off fantastically. Now we get to the Berlin portion of this Grand Finals matchup. We're going to be playing Control in just a moment, but chance so far, I think everything's going to plan as far as the New York subliners camp's concerned. Well, I mean, part of their plan was to let Berlin control through. They banned Tuscan instead, and it kind of confuses me. I know LA Thieves have been trying on Tuscan as of late, so maybe that's sort of the reason why, but earlier LA, they hit him with the hot 3-0, so if that's their game plan, I want to see what they're going to switch up and make sure they're actually capping both the points, because last time they got slaughtered over at B. Well, we'll see if that happens again. Ladies and gentlemen, it's now time for a very quick commercial break here. We're going to continue this Grand Finals here at Major 4 in just a brief few moments. Absolute madness here in the King's Theatre in Brooklyn as we continue. D into the night. This grand finals will continue up next. Berlin Control, just on the other side of this break. Don't go too far.
The Call of Duty League is brought to you by Mountain Dew and Zenny. Armor your eyes with blocks, gaming glasses, starting at $24 by visiting zenny.com slash CDL. Map three of this grand finals is moments away, but before we get to that one, a little bit housekeeping to do. Very excited to share with us, of course, the stuff play of the game, Madness. There on Desert Siege is, of course, the New York Subliners chance. They take a 2-0 lead into this series in front of this crazy crowd. Scuff play of the game. I mean, hey, look, there is a spot like this on pretty much every single S&D map, and, well, Kismet just showing off it. Sometimes walls, floors, whatever, just don't exist. You can just shoot right through that bad boy, not a problem. And the entire time, I'm thinking he's playing the light man to jump out and fly. Well, if he does that, he might have flown out into death. As soon as he starts shooting at the ground, envoying Kenny No. Oh, this is Chog. We are not winning this round. And hey, this is why you save it for the big moment. <laughs> again, that cheeky little smile. Yeah, he's feeling himself that from damn good smile. Good reason. It all started with that damn smile. He's loving it right now. Again, Kismet's family in the crowd nervously been watching him throughout the entire tournament, and now they find themselves in this grand final in front of the absolutely packed out King's Theatre here in Brooklyn. As we now get ready to dive into map number three, Berlin Control. Now, this has not been a good one for the New York Subliners chance by any stretch of the imagination. Well, okay, so the Bokaj hardpoint, that is like a clear-cut advantage for New York. The Desert Siege in my mind, kind of 50-50. Obviously, they clutched up, they're getting the glides, but going into this control, it is clear-cut advantage to the LA Thieves, at least specifically on Berlin. And you already see Octane, he has been on point. The shot was perfection in the map too. And in that main AR battle on Berlin, on this map, Prim right now has about a .77. I think Ooh. Octane might be looking to take full advantage of that. But again, no Ching staff, no for New York. They have the option to ban it. They chose to play it. There has to be a reason why. Let's see what they can do. Again, in a best of nine, it's very much a marathon and not a sprint. But if you can win all five to get the job done fast, and get out of here and grab a slice of pizza or two, hey, we'll take that as well. But here we go now into map number three here in the grand final. And Berlin has had its fair share of crazy moments here on Vanguard. Who knows what the hell we've got in store for us now. Let's get it. They got to defend that more important point first. And it's going to be eight men all over here. Kismet only takes down one. But that should be enough to already stop this push or at least slow it down. Nice job on just the opening break. Someone taking care of business. Strong lead. In the kills department now as well. Subliners winning out those opening fights. Over towards the B side of the map we go. Kismet's going to be the first man in. Draza. The gun was up just that little bit quicker and now they're going to start to get the capture. 59 seconds. The clock is paused while somebody captures the point. If you get the job done, it's an additional minute. In, in number seven, Draza, by the way, he's already over late flanking towards A. Draza is one of the best, if not the best of the world, at causing problems on A while his team is slow capping B. He does get shut down there, but that is always something to look out for. Draza will constantly just try to nip at your heels to make those plays. And of course, Oh Osborne, my, what? He loves these stairs. Loves those stairs. Really great stairs. I know stairs. Paul's got a little bit of trouble now to deal with in the form of Octane. Guns are up. Kenny in from behind. What a kill that was. Now we're going to see the afterburners hit as Kenny's going to make a run for it. Subliners are on the hunt trying to catch him out. Here goes the B zone and Kenny is still frying. That's an additional minute added to the clock. A single zone remains. Kenny is now gone. I mean, one thing for Kenny, by the way, who has obviously been fantastic through this tournament, I think I've heard him say something effective like, hey, man, I've been thinking too much. I just need to come out and fry. So he has been oh my god, pace. He has Kiss been nice out. But like, hey, is, hey, another three-piece. is like fourth of the tournament. is third on the day. Bulldog provides. He does indeed. That was all bite, no bark on that sneaky place. The kills keep going. The subline is retained. The life lead now. A minute 20 ticking away as the entirety of the LA Thieves have been forced to make their way through mid map. They're going to find those kills over towards the back side of the A side we go. Hydra might be able to catch a player or two. Octane finds himself in a bit of a sandwich. And here we go. You're on to the point. I mean, it's two players on point. I, I know they're getting pinched from both sides so right now. Krim trying to trap him in, but that's a tick that's gone by. These are the important gunfights to win. Krim gets the first, but the trades are there. Now you don't have to worry uh -oh, about the flank. Uh -oh. Now you can get the clearance on the point. Uh -oh. And for LA Thieves, there you go. Draza going to hold this line down. Second segment gone there. Stacked in three man. It is done. The round is over. Throw in the towel.
LAC is taking it. Dude, they are just so good on Berlin control. It is like clockwork. So many times where they're going on these flanks, nipping at their heels, waiting for that big play, that big moment. As soon as they get delivered, this setup on the point is always perfect. That is where their teamwork shines. Uh, and that is just an efficient first round. Now will the Thieves get to go on the defensive end where they're the best team in the game on defense. They are like hyper successful and not just defending A, which is tricky, but even defending B, they can do it on both sides. So Subliners maybe just play it a little bit safe, go for the slow capture over towards B and avoid getting pinned in your spawn. You gonna do what they can to make sure that no one hits that spawn. That's Crim's job right now. Mission failed, we'll get him next time. As Envoy now, he is hitting the wrap. Number seven, Draz is gonna be posted up, and Envoy now, the Reaper. Finally dealt with by Kismet. Unfortunate timing, but you still keep the capture going at B. Single segment in, oh my god, Kenny! He's alive, so Kenny! Nearly the two-piece. In, out, out, and around. Not fun to deal with in LA Thieves, keeping that pressure on the train side of the map. Clinical work so far on defense, but obviously that B zone, should be captured, add the minute to the clock. This is plenty of time for New York to work with. You get to test the metal and see exactly how good LA Thieves defense is. Yeah, this is a much more conservative attacking round from the New York subliners. Slow and steady, gets rid of B. Kills are very even right now as they're gonna try to make their way forward. Lovely shots out of Hydra there. Paul now joins him as well. The numbers for the LA Thieves starting to thin out. This is an opportunity to make your way forward, but Dreiser finds himself a two-piece and now he's still alive. You must deal with him and Kenny! You gotta deal with both of them! They made their way forward, and that advantage is now gone for the subline. And the teammates don't oh get a help God. in the gun he delivers. Dude. 17 YYs in a nice little reposition, both guns in hand. Oh, now, Grim oh, with two oh. opens up a little bit, but he gets traded. Important gunfight. You gotta Kenny. clear out Kenny. Kenny! Kenny is. How bold can you be? It's a five spree now. A sensational run. Kismet gets some of the point, and all of a sudden, Hydra's there to back him up. We were getting all excited, but Kenny, we missed the mid-map, and oh my good god, the clock has stopped, the life count is even, and Kenny may be on a five, but they're capturing eight. Oh, he's waiting so patient, though. He knows they were looking for him, and he has just dragged their attention away. Kismet kept hopping off the time just to look for him, so now the reinforcements are in. This is two ticks gone by, but honestly, just Kenny in that moment, staying alive, such a heads up play. We're still in control for the LA Thieves. A single segment remains. Paul's on the deepest of widest flanks it could possibly be, but the LA Thieves know that. The spawns have got weird. So look towards the back. A minute 13 remaining, nine lives for the attack. And they're looking for Paul too. Obviously when Jaza spawns up in fire, he knows someone's on the flank. Well, they just found him. Kenny still has yacht that it shut down. And the players for New York are trying to work their way in, but they simply cannot find Kenny. it. And what can Kenny find? Well, he just got the glide. He is absolutely destroying the subliners right now. He is seemingly unstoppable. The five lives remaining now, as Kenny will simply take them all. This is prime, prime Kenny gameplay right now, man. He has had a brilliant tournament. Well, you shut him down. That opens up the map again. Oh, he just need yeah. one tick, but... Well, you don't have any more lives to work with, and they are crumbling one by one. Three players that try to get this single tick they have grouped up together. And hey, if Kismet can pop another three-piece, that is all you need. Easier said than done, right. though, and Octane just shuts him down. Hydra trying to stay alive. Pressure's on, kills are good. Somehow, but no, it's a 1v8 as Krim. If you manage to keep Hydra alive, then maybe the round goes a different way, but now it is Operation Find Krim and take care of him. Surely now the round will come to a close. Great work, LA Thieves. And, and I'm not kidding, man. To backtrack to talk about that play from Kenny when he's on the five spree outer trains, players feel the pressure in that moment. If my team just died, there are players on the point. I need to go help them. Kenny makes the heads up play. Kismet was juggling the point on those outer steps, waiting for Kenny to make that push. But Kenny just holding it like a stone. And I mean, he's turned that into a glide. He buys enough presence for his teammates just so they can respawn. and. Get back in the mix. That is a super heads up play by the guy that is 16 and 9. 16 and 9 with the glide. We'll see if this Rolling Stone continues. Because you know a Rolling Stone doesn't gather any moss. Hey, uh, Kismet, he ain't a gardener. But he's dug a grave there for Kenny. Kismet finding another. He's opening right now from the subliners on defense. Unbelievable. And they need it because this is map point. And this might be the setup, by the way, to try to be dominant on defense, right? You get Kismet in the back line, able to flank whenever he wants. 
LA Thieves, they, uh, look at LA Thieves, they're making the play, they're going through fire. Again, they like to be annoying, they like to go for the attempt. Now, New York are technically reading this, but well, you have battles all over the map. I mean, he's doing the best he possibly can with the 40 of that range. Hydra now manages it the flank, picks up the automaton, rips the pair. However, though, you still have to worry about Kenny's being sneaky on the other side of the map. That's done. Octane, though, now with the avenue to make his way forward. The spawn lane is open. Here comes the aggression, but you're running into Crim6, and Porter ain't letting them through. It's just so clean on defense, too. Those reads are not easy to make, but they hold strong. There were so many opportunities for players on LA to make a little bit of motion over towards A, but they do end up getting shut down. You can see how much New York wants to defend this point. And guys like number four, Krim, on the minimap, he is just stationary watching the flank because of how LA Thieves love to play. And just that style allows you to capture B so slowly. Such a difficult team to play against on Berlin. Silence will fall across the map for a few moments while we capture B. Yeah. The gameplay may be quiet, but y'all ain't. Here we go. Octane's got eyes on a couple of players trying to make their way out of spawn. Hydra, he might peak this fight. Krim is chilling. I mean, Krim's controller might be disconnected. We have no idea, but here come the rest of the thieves. It's on boy, it's Kenny, and they're going to be hitting it. Here we go, right into the fight. Krim gets into oh it, but it's God. too little, too late. Onto the A zone you go. Big wins and a pull. Big fights. Not enough to get the job done. And here we go. Kismet on the defense, and there we have it. Breathe a sigh of relief. Subliners retain control. Well, 55 seconds left in the round, so LA Thieves more opportunities to attack, and they get the first blood on this engagement, but obviously not a ton of map pressure. Hydra, in the meantime, is on a four, so trying to get that hot hand and match Kenny as well. Doesn't last long. The trades come through, but for both teams, LA Thieves have at least opened up the train side of the map, but obviously it's mixy. It is still not easy, but hey, they've cleared it out. This might be it to hit it from the front. Raza can catch these players out coming through mid. This could be huge. He's not going to check it. He's going to win that fight. That's good enough for now, but you have an opening. Onto the point we go. Envoy, wow. Tip of the spear. He flies forward. Kenny backing him up. Oh, they got, got at least all. one player on, but massive win from Paul. And they got them all. Now it's just in the front. This could be a stack two, maybe make it three men. The pole into oh my. One, but so does Octane. That's number two. You don't have the time to play. LaRue. You jump through the window. You get put in the wall. Oh, now the glide ball coming through. They have just shut this down. Oh my. Perfect goodness. on Berlin. God. 6 0 round count on the day. LA Thieves, how do you do? I mean, that was the most perfect capture of A you could have asked for, man. LaRue with a big three to hold it down. The streaks from Kenny. New York subliners had nothing there on Berlin. And look, man, on this map, I mean, Kenny, he just says, I am the highway. I will shut this down. And it's just clinical. I mean, 6-0 round count on the day. We set it right at the top when we were looking at the map picks for the series. It was weird to me that they let Berlin through because LA Thieves, it is their bread and their butter, their wheelhouse. And I know Subliners had a couple interesting rounds, right? They put the pressure on the attack, but in the end, they just get shut down. But now I think from almost this point on, for the most part, it is very 50-50 in terms of like who you would expect to win the map. So now that we're in the Berlin portion, LA Thieves, just a little bit of life, but now it is going to be a battle, even for the Berlin hardpoint. These guys played it earlier today. 250, 235, as neck and neck as it could possibly be. I mean, right now, this is a very, very important portion of the series for the LA Thieves players to try to get themselves back into this. Highlights now across the board. Beautiful kills, that final three. We'll see that one from Octane, but uh, Kenny getting involved. Great map awareness. He had one hell of a spree, man. The aggression, the confidence. This is what you're looking for out of Kenny. And, and just a little element of teamwork, right? So this is the moment, by the way, again, there was a solid 15 <laughs> seconds that had gone by for the capture points where Kenny just waits for the kills. But even the start of that spree, remember the moment it was Draza in the hallway picking up kills in train. He gets outside, lays down, and all of that attention gets dragged towards Draza just for the setup for Kenny to go on a tear. So another one of those moments of just the teamwork on point. Nice little three feed right there for Octane. And uh, I mean, again, as soon as you get control of this zone, that uh, is just so easy to hold down.
Uh, and again, LA Thieves, they will always play that like clockwork. They never let it slip. Yeah, perfect streak usage out of Kenny as well there. So LA Thieves, a very swift 3-0 to get themselves back into this grand final. As we look at the Ula thus far, it's a clean 3-0 there on Berlin. We go now to Berlin, hard point chance. Now, this is where things get real spicy. This is where the coin toss is on. This is basically a 50-50 between these two teams. Give or take a couple of maps. I, I will backtrack just a little bit for the, you know, 50-50 sort of style. I will say Gavutu control. I think New York actually have a, I'll say a distinct advantage because they have been the best team on the offensive rounds on that map with this like full squad. So if you can win offensive rounds on Gavutu, I mean, hey, best of the game, right? Very few can actually pull it off. And obviously for New York, they're hard points, which they're going to love the Tuscan down the line as well. That being said, it's not like any of these are easy. The LA Thieves still down in the series. They want Berlin to be their home that little bounce back game. Now, of course, these two teams have already matched up against each other, and uh, we can take a look at how the scoreline went before Chance, and it was, look, a 3-1 victory there in the winner's final. LA, of course, they won that. Berlin control once again. Berlin hard point, an absolute nail by there. This is the first time they matched up earlier today, 250-235. Desert Sea Search and Destroy didn't come into play there, but we saw how that one went here in the Grand Finals. Will this be a true rematch chance, or will we see something different? Well, I mean, look, I trust Kismet at this point to fry, but to win that 250-235, he had to fry. He dropped 41 kills, had all of that time in the hill. He ended the game with like a three-piece. So Kismet played like a monster to squeak by for the win. Now make no mistake, in the Bokaj Kismet, maybe it's just those normal performances where he will be top kills, top objective time. Literally Mr. Do It All, but you just know even with that level, LA Thieves, they still got that dog in them on this map. We know it's going to be a good time. Yeah, we'll see how it goes. We're loading into Berlin now, getting ready to dive into the next map here in this Grand Finals. Man, it's been a wild one. This good looks for the subliners so far. They have been nearly immaculate in the run, not only now towards champs, but to this Grand Final itself. It's still even incredible to think, Chance, that given the situation they're in, what, seemingly months ago, they actually managed to pull this one off. The pressure may be off, but they still want the big win here. And hey, so do the LA Thieves. I mean, again, that, that Krim interview, it is quintessential. I mean, obviously, he gets fined for every interview he's done for the every past few years, but just for the fact that he's saying, my team cares about champs, I care about the win. He is a single-minded individual. Maybe look for him to bounce it back again. I know on the Berlin control, it's not necessarily in his favor. Well, the hard point, this is where the subliners have thrived. We are staying on Berlin, but after this one, Everyone gets to put their shoes back on. We're going to travel to a different map. But for now, hard point it is. Here we go. Berlin hard point. And there's one stat on this map. The team that starts on good side. In this instance, the New York Subliners on the year have won it about 65% of the time. But through this tournament, it is nearly perfect for the team that gets that early advantage. And well, you can see why it's an advantage. Already Subliners in the hill. Collecting oh my the time. God. How good is your break? Kenny looking for third. He might get shut down, but hey, you still get the break. You do it from the hard side. Huh? You're feeling pretty good. And great. Krim actually missed the jump up to the top office window. So now he has got to take the long way around. Will it pay off for him in the kills? We'll see. But Octane now, so good time. LA Thieves, good opening now. Hydra and Co. making their way forward. Not able to get too much more. Here comes the attempted break from the Subliners. And it is not good enough. LA Thieves still in control. Hey, and you love it, man. You are fighting from the difficult side, and a guy like Kenny walks up in two different lives and fries you and shuts you down. And hey, final 10 seconds. Looks like you'll have number five, and Octane ends up collecting it. I won't say Subliners free and clear on the rotation. Draws is setting up to hit this late pinch. Yeah, P2, the mail room. Mostly in the middle of the map. Krim's going to get the big wins towards the back. Make sure that, that rear door is safe. Through the middle, though, we are going to see Octane trying to make his way, and that's where Paul comes into play. Catches a couple on the cross, sees him, does get a kill, though. Kismet front door, they come a knocking, and they bring him down. 31 seconds now for the LA Thieves. They are looking to get him at this point and push that lead further. Just looking for that first set of kills before we actually jump on this time and make that heavy commitment. So many players stacked up, like, in this little stairwell, and everybody tagged up. Hydra the first to fall. The trade's coming through on the engagement, and just look at the minimap. It is chaos, and now it is Krim, last man standing. He he falls, scrap time to LA, and the rotation might go their way too. Dross is in the back. He has been spotted. But with the sub, this is not an easy gunfight, and Hydra may be doing the smart thing. Play the cheeky corner, try to pick up the kill. So far, fantastic look from the LA Thieves. They've got map control. Over towards the next hard point, we now go. Hydra, they've got no idea if he's in this corner or not. There's a big one. 
And he's going to get it. Tracer through, but the boys are now in. Paul's going to be the first man on the point. Wins the fight against oh Octane. Locks God. it down. That's all four dead. That is massive for the subliners. And someone just spawned into the line of sight. I think Trasa literally, as soon as he spawned, Kismet gunned him down. So that is a perfect way to approach this P2. You get the spawns. You get oh, the wait. pressure out, Dachshund. While he may fall, the reinforcements will be in. Two men through fire, two men through stone. Let's we'll see if LA can get the break. Trying to make the break now. They get at least one. Envoy starts it. Great heads up. Oh, Play from wow. Trasa. The timing doesn't seem to matter, though. Through the front, the kills are good. Crim's keeping it going. Octane now from stone. Finds at least himself one. Hydra now getting another point again. And it's big shots from the French Phenom as he stays alive. 20 seconds now remaining on the point, And the subliners looking to soak. And I think Kenny trying to make the uh, the late hit to see if he can pick up the scrap. But trade it out. Subliners two heads up in that moment. Back and forth battle we have. And again, a super well played P3. But towards the next hill we go, LA Thieves, they have spread the map. It'll be Kenny collecting that hill time and subliners trying to work their way around. But John's the first man to deal with. And this is an angle that is not fun to fight. And boy, it comes the cross now towards the fourth hard point in the set we go towards the train side, south side of the map. Depending on which side of the tracks you're on, this is a horrible hard point. But for now, we're running it. This is a thing of beauty. The spread on the map that the LA Thieves has. Octane is running circles inside a train, just slowing him down. This has been 25 seconds completely and utterly uncontested. Now they're making the moves to the point. Paul Lee's gets oh. them out of time, but the trades are in. The force free for Envoy right back in the point. This is a nearly perfect P4. Subline has got nowhere near this hard point yet. Look at the coverage from Envoy, a force free from him. Brought down now on the wrong side of the map, but here we go towards the hard point. The closest you've been right now is the subliners try to make their way in. Octane posted up, and it is a real slow hit out of New York. They are not willing to get into the fight. Here we go, though. Hydra pounces. Brought down indeed. And, and that is exquisite Call of Duty on that hill. Every single player from the Thieves rocking the automaton to make it happen. You get that control, you lock it down, and you build yourself a sizable lead. And now the flanks are coming through, maybe to get you out of P5. But as far as the battle stands, LA Thieves haven't read the spawns just yet. But now you swivel your head, turn around, know you haven't been down. You can run away with the game in this moment. LA Thieves started the season off as one of the best hardpoint teams in the game. And now they are pulling that form right back. This is where the subline has been shining all tournament long. Well, at least they dropped the spawns, right? So LA Thieves can collect this time. But right now, it is the slang. Ooh. Every single person for the New York Subliners, oh. negative. On the flip side, nothing but positivity on this side. And for Octane, think about the Clyde. The beams on point can't quite get it, though. Finally, some life for New York. They were get to the spawns. They get over towards P1, and they are free and clear. All four players around train. Right now, down by 90. Let's see what they can do. Back to P1 we go, a major comeback now. Has to be on for the New York Subliners. Let's hear how they sound with a quick listen in. Set up now for the subliners going into the next hard point. They're finding every possible kill they can. Again, your Mountain Dew featured player, Crim6, trying to rally the troops, trying to lead them in battle here. As we crack the 100 point mark now for the subliners, LA Thieves, they've got full control of the hard point. Let's hear how they sound with a listen in. Yeah, we're good. We're good. Yeah, we're good. 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 We're
And man, you can hear it in the comms right now. The LE Thieves full control. They know exactly where the subliners are spawning. They are playing them like a fiddle. That is a five now for Octane. That is full control of the hard point. And they are looking to level up the series. Bro, run them over. GG Smoke. They have just obliterated them. Octane just got a glide. 25 and 12 compared to Chris. Yo! 13 and now 24 because he's dying like that. Kenny doesn't need to be on the map for LA Thieves <laughs> to hold this one down. This has been a clinical Berlin from start to finish. And again, Kenny wasn't even needed towards the end. This has been an unreal game four. LA Thieves have completely turned that pressure up. Wait, where did the subliners go? Wait, here's the final contest. We might be able to see something happen here. We're going to force it to another hard point at the very least. But it is five seconds until the LA Thieves level up the series. Krim, what have you got? 16 to 25, your Mountain Dew featured player as he now battles his way towards the point. Subliners are in first. They're going to have to hold it. I mean, they're going to call it a glide bomb. Hey, at least off respawn because Krim maybe getting a little bit hot, but you even get the close spawn inside a train, get the glide bomb to fall potentially on their heads or maybe even the nades to come through. LA Thieves taking the time on this break and this will be it. This is it. This is how the break begins. Kenny finds one. Octane with the glide bomb finds it. Now forward into the point you go. It's all coming down to Krim, waiting for the reinforcements to show up. And that is that. What a hard point. LA Thieves. Absolutely decimating. And what a way to suck the life out of the crowd, too. I, I mean, from the jump, LA Thieves. It's that thing, man. You start on good side on P1. The advantage is you get there first. LA Thieves, they broke the setup down instantly. Kenny off respawn just returns with another three streak. And if you're on the bad side, starting off P1s like that, it's as good as it gets. And on top of the fact that Octane the entire time. I mean, double positive. The comms are on point. And one thing that you heard in comms is, hey, can someone just grab the time for me? I'm <laughs> frying these guys. Let me at them. But I don't even know. There is barely a hill where subliners had a great deal of success. The P4 that we saw the first time around was a thing of beauty. And from that moment, LA, I mean, truly just never looked back. That is four players on New York subliners going negative. Four players feeling that pressure. Now the series is tied up two to two. Add just a little bit more. That's the equalizer. Here in the grand finals, the LA Thieves, they have not run out of steam whatsoever, not to be dismayed by the raging noise of the crowd. Ooh la la indeed. Bokaj search and destroy now, the midway point here in the series. A chance, again, it kind of feels like it's anyone's game. 6-4 there on Desert Siege with one thing, but for the LA Thieves to bounce back like that, we talk about momentum so much in Call of Duty Esports, right? The momentum is in their hands. And of course, though, going into Bokaj S&D, two teams in the finals, they're good at nearly every single map. Except this one. Both teams struggling, not the best record overall. So I think it's going to be the conversation. If you're a team expecting to be in the grand finals, you know you cannot have weaknesses. So hopefully these guys have something worked out with how they're going to orchestrate themselves on Bocage. But it'll be an interesting one to watch because not many maps where the situation is like this. Well, we see what happens. We're going to throw to a very quick commercial break. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, as the marathon continues here at the King's Theatre in Brooklyn. Major Four's grand finals is just getting going. We level up the series two to two. When we come back, we're playing Search and Destroy on Bocage. Don't go too far.
Duty League is brought to you by TeamSpeak, the official communication partner of the Call of Duty League. And AimLab, official first-person training partner of the Call of Duty League. Unleash your potential. We now find ourselves at the second search and destroy here in this grand finals at the King's Theatre here in Brooklyn, New York. How are we feeling, crowd? You feeling all right? I know, I know, your team's down. You know, they lost the big one there, and now we're all leveled up in the series. But we go to search and destroy, chance to go back to both cars. It's going to be a fun one. We'll see how this one fares. Now, how are the records so far? Because the player KDs, this is just versus the LA Thieves themselves. The boys don't look too bad. I, you know, Kismet overall, he's been pretty solid. I know Hydra's struggling a little bit, but we're going into a search and destroy. That is where he popped off on Desert Siege. So maybe looking for the bounce back. But I think really what we've seen so far in this series, that Prim versus Octane battle. Octane has definitely had his number. Yeah, man, he's really been running it for, for sure. Krim, though, wants the big win. On the other side of the board, though, now the LA Thieves, big work out of seemingly all of them. Draza there, the only player above a one, but only just. Octane, though, we call him the human turret for a reason. They're on Berlin, absolutely rancid. And, and obviously, the stats are a little bit better because they've won two of the three respawns, so they've had more time to get in the mix, but they've been trying the entire time. I mean, even in the comms, Octane's on point. He's saying the right things. Not just direction to his teammates, but hey, someone grabbed time so I can go and get these kills because right now he is putting in some serious work. His sniper was on point enough. Maybe you pull it out on Bokaj. I would not hate to see it at all. I know it's like a very particular thing. You can illy do it for a cheeky round here, cheeky round there, but maybe this is the time, man. You can snipe like that. Best sniper KD in the league. You never know. You never know. Here on Bokaj again, an unorthodox strategy indeed, but Crazier things have happened here in the final major of the Vanguard season. It has been a wild, wild ride so far, and we are not quite done yet. Champs is in a mere two weeks away. It feels so close indeed, but for these players, the final hurdle before we get to throw up a big bad trophy and hand out some more rings. This grand final. And, you know, Kismet, a player from the school of Mr. Midmap. He will be aggressive even with the bomb. He will be in your face. He will try to make plays, and hey, look already. In their base, he's found his home. And well, we're in. Kismet, he and Hydra now on the hunt on the inside of bottom. Granny's, the kill's gonna be there. Envoy finds himself a sweet set of stairs, but it's not gonna be enough to save him. Kenny, though, now trying to keep things going. 2v2. Oh, they're in a pinch, but you just found the route to get out. And I think they're playing for kills. If they're split, they're gonna be looking for him. And well, Krim just gets caught, and now Kiz knows where one player is. You expect Octane to be towards the back tank, but a 1v2. He's gotten one today. See if he can make some magic happen. He's had the Thieves number in the 1v2 situations. Will he continue? The answer is a resounding no. Now the Thieves. Plenty of time to pick up that Diffuse, let Dead Silence build up. First round goes their way. And that's as good as it gets. Two teams, both on offense and defense, happy to be aggressive. I mean, Kenny is over here with the Automaton flying out towards the middle of the map. Nice way to play that 2v1, and I think the Intel game, we saw a lot of that on the Desert Siege. If these guys clearly have done their homework, we know we see Krim all the time on the God Tank, especially towards the tail end of rounds. Just gets red, gets dropped, and Kenny just continues the slang performance. Three in the first round. 3-0 for Kenny. 2-2 split looks like now from the LA Thieves on the attack. It's gonna be a 3-1 there for the New York Subliners. Heavy stack towards the A side of the map. Paul's gonna be the low man watching towards that B street and Envoy, yep, you drop that brother. Here we go. Well, you gotta play for picks if you don't have the bomb and well, Paul X is the one that kicks it off with the first blood. The number of 3v4s we have seen just on the desert siege. Feels like anything is possible. And Paul X getting aggressive. His teammate got picked, but hey, there for the trades. You keep that man advantage and might have seen that that window is open. He knows someone's going to be looking for him. He's got eyes on. Here comes Draza around the corner. Paul's going to wait for it. Looking to turn the two into a three. But now we're towards the gate bomb side. We go. Hydra gets himself going. Tags into Draza. And that is the teamwork the subliners have had all tournament long. Tied up one to one. And finally, enough, Bokaj SD is actually probably the slowest SD map in the game, even compared to Siege. Sometimes it comes to a screeching halt, and that is very much around. We're just playing for picks, and Paul X delivers. One thing making it to champs to be so much sweeter now for the New York Subliners fans here in Brooklyn to win the major. But their team has hosted. Here we go. New York Subliners now on offense. 
Flying forward. A super aggressive round, but Dross is going to be there. Trades come through straight away. You never run into one member of the subline. It's seemingly always two. It's Kenny again, though. You know, just so aggressive with the automaton there for the trades and ended up reading that strap perfectly. So man advantage. LA Thieves, I mean, hey, he got bombed down in the middle of the map. Take your time. Envoy will be taking his time. But he's chilling here over by the A-bomb site. Thanks, man. Krim and Paul now trying to make their way forward as that bomb just chilling in the middle of the map. 50 seconds, though, as Krim's going to grab it. Mountain Dew featured player yet to get himself a kill. But here we go. We're geared up. We're ready for the fight. Pick your bomb site. And LA Thieves players, they are isolated. So you can, if you're working together, play for these picks. But you still got to win that intro. Octane in the tower. This is who they're looking for. Oh, and it's tense. Kenny's in behind him now. Less than 30 seconds on the clock. The Thieves, they've got the numbers. Now they really do. Oh, my God. Octane rips the pair. Thieves take the lead. And that might be the last time we see New York send Hydra and Kismet in straight through the center. You see they're using the stun to open up that front door, but they've gotten picked apart twice now. Kenny over there making plays, and obviously Octane towards the tail end delivers. Expecting New York to make those adjustments. And for LA, pick up the bomb and start the round. <laughs> Let's see if they do it this time around. Great reads, though, out of the LA Thieves on defense was for they make this work now on an attacking round. Tags from Paul at great range, but I don't think too much hit. Kismet now finds his corner of the front side of Granny's. Stun checks. Hydra, what a first blood that was. Trace coming through, though. Kismet now getting into the mix, and all of a sudden, ladies and gentlemen, it's a 3v2. LA Thieves looking to catch one more kill out of this, and Krim, okie dokie. Envoy makes it now a 1v2 from a 1v3. Can he stay alive? Here on attack. Uh, he's going to take a route reposition. <laughs> and obviously, you know, for New York, they're worried about the 17,000 corners that are in the bottom of this building. And he's trying to use that to his advantage. He just got great timing on Paul X. Didn't actually get spotted on the cross. Oh, he's done it again. He's done it again. Paul didn't see him once again. So now Envoy, closer and closer he gets now to the members of the subliners. Maybe able to recover this bomb. Maybe able to get a plant going. 40 seconds, an hour in COD terms. I think you wait. You wait for someone to fall into your lap and then uh, free beat 1v1. Oh my good God. In the winner's bracket, luck was not on their side, but now for the subliners, the chase is on. 25, making something happen. As oh my, oh my, Envoy, bomb down. Here we go. He's pushing that pace, man. Pollock, dude, look, Pollux is trying to trap him in. See if he can catch him on the cross. He might be able to do it. From Hay now, over to Hutt towards the backside of River. Envoy might not check this bad boy. The gun is up! The big cheddar don't miss. None of that range. Subline is equalized. And, and what a read, man, from Paul in that moment, waiting for Envoy to wrap back, and he even keeps that L trigger up, waiting for it. So that is a man that just knows how Envoy likes to play. And he's clutch when you need him. You too. It's, you got a feel though for the LA Thieves. I mean, that winner's bracket final, how many 1v1s, how many 1v2s, 1v3s did the subliners get over them? Still, the LA Thieves yet to find the luck. Very good timing goes their way. Who knows? This search could be real different. Here we go though. Subliners on attack. And again, I have to imagine you're going to mix things up at least a little bit. Now they're trying to utilize the nades to find the openings. No bullying from the front. It was not working. And 32 HP. Not enough to take him down. I suppose the intel is nice, but clearly they were tired of Kenny. Yeah, Krim. Trying to make something happen over towards the A-bomb side of the map. Kismet with a bomb in hand also going that way. This is a peach from Kenny. Somehow doesn't hit. 55 seconds now left on the clock as here we go. This is going to get real awkward. Kenny oh, wow. The Wait a minute. Hydra, first blood. Bomb being planted at A. Not that fast, actually. Oh, my word. Oh, one boy dives in. He tries to get in the fight. Can't get it going. 4v2 now. Maze tag, though. Joss has got it back down. Run for his life. That bomb being planted to B. They have to know Joss is in the tunnel. Number two is going to check it. Number two guns him down. Octane last alive in the one versus four. We wanted the adjustments. The work delivered. Woo -hoo -hoo! And they shut him down. Krim says to him there that size does matter. The rat has been unbelievable in Vanguard. That pistol there, but Krim. Large and in charge. Gives him the long barrel. Three to two now. Subliners finally find the lead. 
And Hydra, he has been the guardian angel for the squad. Six and three thus far. Sidelines on defense. They played for picks a few times. Maybe now they want to try to get a little bit aggressive. Nate's going out. Nobody over on the P2 side of the map. This is a full stack for the Thieves towards mid. Certainly leaning towards B, but they got options now again. Two players in the middle map. This is their moment to be aggressive. Different looks. They made it in. He's just going to now try to find at least something from upstairs. That's a Look slow that and easy read. What time? And Krim from downstairs as well. Another 4v2. Advantage certainly going the way of the subliners. Kenny, though, now leveling up, somewhat pinned, trapped, taken care of, signed, sealed, delivered. Subliners starting to walk away with it. Hey, I don't know if that's like, you know, comms coming in from New York or if the spidey sense is tingling, but Kismet, as soon as that man goes up the stairs, head on a swivel, whips around, shuts him down, and honestly, kill of the round. Subliners clean on defense and. They've started to switch things up just a little bit. Also, Krim, who's playing a little bit slow, now on a three spree, he is caught back up. Try to be aggressive, has not worked. They slowed things down, they were very successful, and maybe playing for picks again. I think Envoy might have found himself a corner, but other than that, everybody's posted. It's Envoy on the inside of Hut right now. You can see the players crossing through mid, but again, this is such a common position to be in. You know Kismet's gonna surely check this one one way or another, just on the outside now, waiting for the call. Here comes the breach of clear, and I just like saying, they don't check a thing. They don't check anything. Somehow, Envoy gets the kill now. Advantage going the way of the LA Thieves. Kismet, though, up the stairs, right into the kill feed again. There it goes now, all onto Paul X in the 1v3. I mean, just such a good swarm from LA in the moment, and yet nowhere for Paul to go. Clinical in that round. Basically all of it on the back of Envoy finds himself in a precarious position. First time he's played it, at least in this game. So New York, straight up, do not make the read. And it is really just the aggression after the fact. Everybody on LA pounces on the players to go and get those trades. So they are down, but not out. Subliner still with the advantage. They're looking to clutch up on defense. And I'd say for LA, they had no real success on their attacking rounds. Almost everything they've tried has not worked. Now it's four through the A side. Funnily enough, the Nades from New York last time landed over here. Now it's actually free and clear. And this is a quick A plan. Oh, Kismet. Peeks it. Plants got down. Trades are there. Straight away. Paul's now got opportunity to make his way towards the bomb. Tags are in. Octane wins a big one. That's two for Octane on the round already. Kirim's going to put him to bed. Here we go, though. 2v2, Kenny, the barrel has been spotted. Oh, baby! Subliners once again. Map point. Hey, this has to feel suffocating for LA Thieves. They have mixed up every single offensive round. Subliners have read it every single time. You have Octane beaming players. Still does not make a difference. Honestly, it is almost shades of the Desert Siege. I can't quite tell what that guy said, but I believe he is incorrect with his assessment. Zakdan is frying, but hey, Subliner still got that lead. Passion. Here in the King's Theater, Nades out for Kismet now. This could be the winning round for the map for the Subliners. Stun checks, Nade checks, the lineup on the outside of Barn. Here we go towards the A-bomb site. Kismet going to be the man to do it, but Envoy in the corner. Sublines have not been that good at checking these corners, but now Kismet makes his way over to the top side of Granny's, opens it up. Here comes the boys. That's teamwork. Send in the unit. That is why you protect them. Hydra gets the first blood. Envoy right back at it, though. Here we go, 3v3, pouncing again as the kills keep flying, as the LA Thieves now down a man. And now it's oh, a 2v2. Wow. Paul X tagged up. Not enough to bring him down. A race towards the A-bomb site. And while well, the race, Woo! that's who wins it. Kenny's there. Paul X, last man standing. We talked about the clutch factor. He already has a 1v2 under his belt. This is his second try against these players. Oh, and oh, oh, he oh. spotted one. Oh, spots one, does it even better. He brings him down. A 1v1 against Kenny. The reach out from Paul. Here we go, though. The fight is on and Kenny. He's just flipped the script and hit upstairs. Hey, make no mistake, because he's upstairs, Kenny has the advantage. The bomb is down, and I don't know if Paul has Deddy, but as soon as he picks up the bomb, he does. Kenny can pounce. Paul activates dead silence. Smooth moves now across the map, and Kenny will have to check something eventually. Here comes the trick towards the bomb sites. Beautiful timing, great read. LA Thieves stay alive.
perfectly played, had the angle, he can see every wrap. They almost certainly knew that they had the bomb down, and again, as soon as Paul picks it up, Kenny can jump on it, 11 and five Dude. right now. Kenny. I mean, both the s and D's, some of LA Thieves is frying, but yeah, the biggest factor right now for LA Thieves being down is subliners on defense have been on point. LA has thrown everything and then some to mix up these rounds to no avail. They're going back to somewhat of their standard through the middle of the map. Tisman's ready to meet him, but he does get taken down. Speedy Boy draws, it gets into the fight first. Managing to find the first blood now, the opportunity to bounce back for the subliners. However, hold the line, don't let them through. Krim through the tiniest of cracks, trying to spot a player out. Pixel perfect precision he will need right now, but Envoy. On the inside, mid mad trying to find anything now. Paul's head could be spotted there. Stun checks, you name it. Here come the nades. I mean, they're just being exchanged. Kenny spotted, Kenny is spotted, Kenny is dropped. Three versus three. I can't believe he didn't check it. Hydra front door, guns are down. 3v2, that's on Boy and Octane now. They still have the bomb. They can still make a play, but they've got the numbers against them. Here comes the fight, Octane versus Paul X. And again, Paul knows something's up. He must be able to hear something as we are crouch walking. No ninja at play here, Paul. The fight, oh, what? No, oh no, what is going on? Something, something just happened to Envoy. I have no idea what just happened, but you're gonna give it to the subliners. I have next to no idea what we just saw, but man, subliners are gonna take it. They take the lead in the series. We'll wait to find out what in the name of all things sacred is going on, but hey, that is the round. I mean, they thought someone was nervous. It wasn't Octane, but in that moment, not a fun spot to be in. That is a 3v4 clutch. And that is Subliners taking care of business. Similar to the Desert Siege. That is 11 kills from Hydra. He is putting in that work. Four first bloods he was able to get as well. But I think that is the story of defense for New York. Even a man down, they made it happen. They really did. Subliners take the lead. Search and Destroy continues to be pretty kind to them here in the King's Theatre. Folks in the house as well as Ghost doing the best he can to rally the troops. Happily so now with that map under their belt. We will see exactly uh, what's going on there in the replays because Charles, I got no idea what the hell just happened there. Looking at the highlights though, some sweet moments from either side. Either way though, LA Thieves, they do take the dip there. Big wins in the 1v1s. Paul, nerves of steel. I mean, this is a, just an example of just not being able to win a round on offense. Paul clutching that one. That's obviously a massive one, but I think Subliner just had a, a different answer on defense almost every single time in that final moment. I think Envoy just got caught why whying. Maybe he thought he finished the kill with the pistol and stopped shooting. Maybe 17 different things went wrong, but the only thing that went right was New York and their reads on defense. Even here for Crim6, New Kenny was getting up close perfect to gun him down. Uh, I mean, there was two V4s. There were so many times where LA had an advantage and just simply could not close in uh, the worst YYs of all time. Well, I mean, the ladder played a very pivotal role in the victory there for the New York subliners, but hey man, it's a long grand final. Plenty of time to bounce back there for the LA Thieves. The subliners get the win, an unfortunate turn there at the end, but Bocage comes to a close chance, a new chapter here in this grand final. And we talked about how so many of these maps are sort of 50-50 on who you want to call. Gap control though. New York, in my opinion, has somewhat of a distinct advantage. I know it is absolutely defensive heavy, but New York, through the past few stages, they have been the best team on offense on this map in the game. They've won 50% of their offenses rounds, which is astronomical that they can even make it 50-50. Fantastic at getting the ticks, and for New York, they're also, you know, top two right now on defense. Through stages three and four, so that's six and one record. At least they have with this roster looks oh so sweet for the subliners and on the flip side obviously phenomenal ARs on LA Thieves. Octane has been frying this series. It is a map where he loves to get posted. I know Kenny has been a machine with the sub but he's also incredibly comfortable with the automaton so you gotta imagine the edge to subliners because of offense. 
Well, you know, LA, the ARs can deliver. Yeah, for sure. They've been doing it for so long. Again, the earliest sort of meme we had here in the Vanguard season was don't challenge the LA Thieves on Gavutu. Now we find ourselves in a Gavutu control. The stats are out, the numbers are there. Charles, which way are you actually leaning for this one? Uh, someone. I, I mean, it's clear cut as it gets. The stats just that they paint a very vivid story. And at the same time, if you're able to convert all of these offensive rounds, I'd have to imagine LA Thieves not going to let anything sneak by. No funny business over towards that B zone. And you got to make sure if you ever, like, even just lose the opening <laughs> break, it is Gavutu, man. The fact that some honors have won 50% of their offensive rounds in the past few stages is clinically absurd. Uh, and that means teams playing against them to drop the ball. So it is really just about the easy execution on defense. I think over the, the stages that we have seen on Gavutu, I know when we talk about control, we expect offenses to get figured out more. That has not been the case. It is now like 91% of defensive rounds have been won. That is the battle on Gavutu. I think the first one we have seen this tournament. The ebb and flow of control game mode here in the Vanguard season has been an interesting one indeed. Here we go. Into Gavutu control. Subliners with a statistical advantage. We'll see if that pays off for them again going into this one. Big defensive wins for the LA Thieves as well. Here it is, Chance. New York Subliners looking to push themselves a little further into this matchup for now. Again, I just thought so bad. LA Thieves, it's the bad luck, man. They are getting hit by nothing. A bad timing, a bug or two here and there. Prayers for them to see if they can't find the bounce back here in control. Well, on Gavutu, looking for a little bit of that gravitas on offense. No fuzzy, funny business on the opening breaks. It'll be the standard. Go towards A, get the stuns and nades out. And hey, the nade will help to try to win that opening break. Looking for that bow control. Pollux cannot get it. Envoy looking to bounce back from the end of that Bokash. Here we go, Kismet. A nice two, straight on the point. Stays alive. Pistol's up and about, ready to rock and roll, though. Envoy's still alive, trying to slow down the reinforcements, and he's doing just that, man. He's still making the moves. Grim's going to now try to track him down somewhere. You're keeping the capture going at A, so you're spinning plates right now for the subliners. But I tell you what, Envoy finally taken care of. A force spree before being brought down. First segment of A gone. Hey, and the nade's on point from LA right there. I mean, as good as it gets. Krim even getting caught from his side of the boat, but somebody to two. By the way, this is the funny business. Kismet, he found the opening. He is on B. Annoying to deal with. LA Thieves are going to send two. But already he is drawing so much attention that his team has three clears oh over towards A. He at least gets a kill. Now Hydra's in your base. This is where New York, they love to play. Yeah, now Hydra. He's in your spawn. Ooh, one more bullet would have sealed the deal there. Now a fast capture towards A as Paul and Krim put in the hard yards and take care of that. 21 lives now left for the subliners on offense. Octane wilting them down just a little bit. And they have still got plenty of time to make their way towards B. And Hydra now battling for the ringside while Paul trying to make sure he keeps this boat control. Eyes on one and shut down by number two. This, again, it's like the P4 with the kind of map spread that the LA Thieves are creating. They have pressure in your spawn. They are looking to just like suffocate you in your base. Kismet gets caught, and this is everyone from New York completely pinned in their spawn. Can they get out? That's the question. The Gavutu trap. We've seen it happen so many times to so many teams throughout this entire season. They've made their way towards the boat. Kenny is counting heads. Octane's up next. Whoa, Kismet tries it with a pistol. Three clean kills now as the subliners are still stuck. Can they make their way out? Paul with a couple. Hydra now get involved. And that might be the opening they need to run forward. And he's got to slow him down. He has to at least draw their attention. And hey, done his job to at least take one. And just make sure that guys oh. like Grim are focused and hey, you get two oh. even better. Traza making plays. His teammates' lives are nice and easy over towards the B zone. Wonderful work from Traza. Make sure this round stays nice and secure. 11 versus 7 on mines. Kismis snuck in. Big win. Here come the rest of the subliners. He leads the charge. Spawns are getting a bit weird right now. Wow. That is so uncomfortable. However, high with a quick trace. Now trying to keep the numbers up. Three members of the subliners making their way towards that point. And once again, eyes on Hydra. Beautiful stuff on a draws. Uh, it is Draza versus the world. He's gotten spawn killed three times, but now they made the move. Made the move to try to get it. Oh. Octane and Envoy, though. Oh. They deliver. He picks up two in that Damn. massive investment to flip the spawns. Well, not really flip, but it just gets you nothing. Clean on defense. No Jeez. extra ticks, no extra progress. Jesus! 
electric gunfights, but that is exactly what LA Thieves needed to do. I mean, there were some crazy spawn kill moments. There was a lot of nice moves out of the subliners, but good reads, massive wins from LA Thieves there on defense. That could have got out of hand real fast. Right, I, I mean, even Kismet trying to make like those opening breaks just to sort of relieve that pressure. You see the idea, just sort of poke the bear, try to see if you can find those little openings, but the execution on point, Grim, one in seven. It's not even Octane this time, it's Popboy that has 13 kills. Mr. Hannon running the show. Kabutu now. Here we go, into the point. Hydra wins a big one. Kismet keeping the kills flowing as well. Trying to keep that A side of the map all safe, because the boat seemingly the easier point to capture here on Kabutu. And it's done. Ball with the trades. The numbers there starting to work out as the subliners run in the map so far. And here comes Kismet trying to set the trap up. This could be on. Yeah, he's moved into position just to be annoying. Sadraza, you're praying the kills go your way. And well, they don't hide the falls. Or actually, maybe they do. Oh Unfortunately, my God. it's a team oh! kill though for LA Thieves. It is the Gunny from Hydra. And maybe one of the reasons you can be so successful right now, zero progress made on A. These are leaning towards B. That does not mean you will have success. A problematic round. Envoy, he has found an opening. Can he make the play? He wins a gunfight over towards B. So he's in progress that direction. The subliners have him sworn, but Envoy at least trying to open up the seas. But you are getting nothing. Subliners right now on defense, they are frying you. Disgusting. Kept them back on A, less than 20 seconds to work with now. This is an opportunity now to get on towards A, but Hydra is still running ringside. He can hit them hard as the members now of the subliners flying out of spawn. 13 seconds remaining, here we go. And you fly on defense, you shut them down, you do not let them get the ticks in. Well, Kismet did fly, but he also is gonna fall. A couple of gunfights go their way, and again, if I'm New York, I try to fight them off this time. Yeah, try and get them out now, Paul hits it. Gets the kill. One more big win out of Draza though. Stays alive. Here comes another one. It's gonna be Kismet once again into the point. The clock is now running. 10 seconds. 10 seconds. A big one from Envoy. Trying to get into the point and stop the time. No one's gonna be there. That should be the round. As New York. Seconds away from it. They win the defense. And they concede very few ticks. I was about to say, that could be the moment. Again, we know how Gavutu plays. It is battle for defense for round five more often than not. Right now, subliners will have that advantage. Now, that being said, again, they win their offensive rounds all the time. Always going to be that ever-present threat. And even Krim getting in the mix, right? First round, like one in seven. Very nice turnaround on a defensive end. And maybe even for Hydra, only on a four for the moment. He gets an extra kill. You absolutely want to play for that clock. Let's see how we go for the New York subliners now on offense. And he falls instantly. <laughs> Kills from Envoy with the nades. We're getting tags out. As now forward into the zone we go. Envoy once again playing the exact same spot he did in the first round. Guns up on a Hydra. Can't get away with his life. Three members of the subliners still in the play here at A. Uh, you're again, you're just getting suffocated. You are being put in your spawn and put in such a difficult spot. LA Thieves so annoying. Kismet should get traded in this moment. It'll be Envoy that's looking for him, and Envoy actually needs dancing with the ladder. <laughs> well, the ladder cost him a round previously. Not this time! That's a big win. Still unable to truly get anything going right now. The New York Subbinders here towards A. They are in their spawn, and they are not willing to make the play. Expecting a lot out of the LA Thieves chance. This is a ton of respect being shown their way. I mean, you have to find an opening. You need the kills to go your way, and may maybe the opening's on the ring side of the map, or maybe you'll just use this to try to force your way through A. You cannot afford to get shut down on defense and Hydra and Kismet looks like they deliver. You know the nades are on point. Both of these players sealed up. Utility is done. It's a three-man stack. That zone is gonna vanish real quick. If you get the kills with the nades, that's good now. Second segment gone. LA Thieves still trying to apply the pressure. Don't let them try to get the capture too easy, but here we go. A minute 30 on the clock, 20 lives apiece. We're going towards B. I mean, hey, you got the cap on A. You maintain that advantage. It is absolutely a small victory and, well, a minute and 20 in the round. Grim6, though, is finding picks over towards the beach, and if you ever get ring control, this is where you make magic happen on offense. Envoy stunned. The pressure's on. We're going to play this a little slow. Wait for the kills. Pulls the man to get it done. That's Krim now. Forward they go. Subliners with the numbers. Now Kismet real close. 
Less than a minute now to run, and he might be able to get on the point. Here comes the contest. Anyone there to get the job done? Find that kill. It's Draza right next to him, just holding this one down. No one there in position to get it. Draza wins the fight. Hydra's on the flank, taking care of as well. It was looking so good for the subliners, but now you spawn him forward, try to get in that point, try to keep the play alive. Oh, Kenny wants that map control, though. He's oh. gonna sprint in, and he is gonna take it. There goes Ring. The trade should come through. Draza delivers, and... Maybe the one opening you had to capture B, but Envoy, you know he loves the flanks. He reads the flanks too, and as soon as he gets that shut down on Hydra, Ooh. you are feeling great for the round. But with 30 seconds to go, York, it is four players through the boat side of the map. They are looking for it. Defense reigns supreme thus far. Okay. Okay. Big tags. Gentle now as he disembarks. Oh okay. my word. Oh no! No one able to get the kills. Pulls down for the trade. A second. That's big. Over towards B. You're able to go now. Hydra, get on your bike, baby. Fly, Hydra, fly. Oh, here, we as here we go. Eight, seven point eight seconds on the clock. Starting to get the capture going. Hydra is tagged up. He has one HP. The day's there. Kenny's got it. There we go. And just like that, the round flows again. The LA Thieves. Some nice lethal usage. Couple of sweet tacticals. They seal the round, map point, control is just their game shots. I mean, you know, e even the nades I think is a big factor, right? He's not going for the instant challenge, the guy in the tank, because he knows the frags will be landing on top, and LA Thieves clearly one of the most well-versed teams when it comes to the, the nades and tacks. Absolutely on point, but the name of the game on Gavutu, it is not about necessarily winning the rounds on offense, it is about getting the extra ticks just to get that defense for the final round. I'd say right now, a little bit of pressure on LATs. They are ever so slightly down. Still gonna try to find it. Subliners need your love, they need your energy now. Octane's first blood. The thieves starting to light things up. Kills going their way. Now the capture on A. Want that extra tick, right? Get A, nice and secured. Last time Subliners bullied him out, but honestly, because ring control is in the hand of LA Thieves, that is why New York is putting so much pressure that direction. Looking for trades on Kenny, and they get him. Now you turn your attention towards A. All X looking to make his move, not fun gunfights, and well, he gets dropped. LA are taking their sweet time with this one. Yeah, I'd right. He's on a three. One segment of A gone. Kismet now flying forward. Trying to take care of boat, no good. Draws is there, four man player now hit from the LA Thieves in towards that boat side. Should be able to capture A pretty quick. The subliners, they have spread across the map, no chance of looking at that trap set up, looking to take care of B. I mean, it's always the same thing. Anytime you look at New York on the defensive end on the mini map, it is always looking like a pretty picture. Whoa. Envoy might clear out this side, but you still need to make sure you actually secure this A point. New York had been on point with their defensive round and I don't think they're going to give it up. Crim6 is getting in to try to make moves, but there should be enough wide arrows. There you go. A zone secured. Ah! Oh, oh, man. Ah, not yet. Can it? Gets it. A minute now added to the clock. 21 lives left for the Los Angeles Thieves to attack the point. Now, Envoy once again in the back line. And again, they just want the extra take. They're looking for the extra play. And hey, this might be the opening. Envoy behind enemy lines. Can he get to pick towards ring? But you have Crim6. He makes the miraculous kill. and. Well, you go back to the standard. A minute and a half for LA to work with. Woo! Grim right now. Beam's on point. Absolutely beaming. Minute 20. 17 lives left for the LA Thieves to throw at this point. I'm gonna try to just watch every possible angle. No more two pieces there as Kenny gets it. You are two members now of the LA Thieves trying to make their way through the back. Draws is gonna be the first man. Is he playing as sneaky as he possibly can? Krim makes the easy reads. Kenny towards the front as a big win. The subline has continued to hold on the defensive end. Maybe the opening though for Draza to be annoying. Krim though reads it. Head though is gone. Headshot multiplier in effect. Now Draza maybe play for the spawn kills. Maybe make moves towards the point and help your team with the gunfight. Oh Ring, boy. there's the help. Oh Ring is there. boy. Now, Draza able to pick up two. This is a four sprint. He is the cutoff man. One more kill and the boys are on the point now. Here we go. The stack. Two players with LA Thieves into it. The big kills out of Draza. The five spree. But not done just yet. Kenny's still making the capture happen. How many more players can you get onto the point? You give up ring control. Now the hit towards it. Octane loses the fight. Hydra is there. And that is a massive save for the subline. Well, look, we're pretty much paying TDM in this moment. Right now, in terms of actual kills, it is, what, a, a one kill difference? Maybe just about tied up. I think LA might be up by one. So both teams right now got to be on point. 30 seconds. 30 seconds left. LA Thieves still got a chance to make this happen. We're squaring up for the solid fight. Obtain the man. With the AR in hand, Kenny now hits the flank. 
Here comes the aggression. Looking at that minimap. Red dots are up. Here we go. Into the back. Kenny once again finds a huge no kill. No lives left. 15 seconds. No That's response. it. That's a huge kill. There are only two members of the sub line is left as Kenny's three spree. What a play this has been. Krim comes around a corner. Does find the kill. If you can get this player off the point, that's amazing. But the shots from Draza stays alive. Contest is there. This is not over just yet. I mean, it basically is. You only got two more remaining. Draza hits by you all the time. And he buys you the Gabutu victory for a map that has been phenomenal for the New York subliners. LA Thieves taking the task. Get the offensive win. And that will be the swing map of the series. Once again, control proving to be the mode for the LA Thieves here in this grand final. Three to three. So once again, we're tied up. And man, look, the way this major has gone, we've gone to a lot of game fives. We've seen a lot of close matches. It's gone the distance. And this grand final feels a hell of a lot like that so far, Chance. And that's just a tough one in the end as well, because in effect, like all the lives you did not have towards the tail of the round, Funnily enough, it's because of how much pressure you put on A in those attempts to defend. So a few moments, as it turns out towards the end, end up haunting you. And you got to give all the credit. Draza, without question, just makes that game winning play. I mean, efficient work in the spawn. He turns that one kill on Crim6 on the flank, turns it into three more, turns it in all the pressure for his teammates. And even just the fact that he's helping his teammates with the gunfights on ring. It is little things like that. Those little decisions go a long way. And Gabutu, man, what a match to get an offensive win. Well, an interesting chapter of our grand final comes to a close now. I mean, look, I'm just looking across the board here. We've got Balloon Search and Destroy coming up next in the final saga of this best of nine, the Tuscan side of it. Man, I, I just don't know where the hell we go. This could be a game nine. The only other game nine we have had in CDO history all the way back in Cold War. Krim was a part of that one as well. Back in the old Dallas Empire roster against Atlanta Phase. Game nine was a raid search and destroy. It did not go Krim's way. Don't get there. Don't get to game nine, Krim. Just try to get it done now, brother. I mean, both teams want that, right? This is vying right before a chance to prove that you are the best team in the game to try to get that win. And honestly, both teams are making an incredible case. They have taken down so many of the top dogs along the way. One of the team's hard point has been on point. The control for LA Thieves, the exact same. Uh, I think Subliners maybe not like afraid of the game nine. I know their search and destroy has been on point so far. Hydra has put up 10 plus kills in both of them. But now we go to Berlin and see if he can replicate that success. Because obviously, I mean, I've said it so many times, it's not as much pressure now that they've qualified for champs, but you still want to get that victory. Krim wants to win indeed. Looking to set the record again for the most victories here on Cool Jury as one of the console goats. We're not quite done yet. So ladies and gentlemen, we're going to throw to a quick commercial break as this Major Four Grand Finals continues deep here into the night. Vibes are an all-time high, though, as this series gets tied up. We're going to play Search and Destroy after this one. We come back after the break.
The Call of Duty League is brought to you by Mountain Dew and Zenny. Armor your eyes with blocks, gaming glasses, starting at $24 by visiting zenny.com slash cdl. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Time to rock and roll back into this series. And we're going the distance, boys and girls. King Seer here and Brooklyn still enjoying themselves as the series is not quite done yet. We're going to search and destroy. We're going to Berlin. It's going to be fun. And it's going to be an exciting map too. Hydra in search and destroy has absolutely been on point. And I know Envoy can be that player to match in that main SMG. And I'd say for Envoy, hey, no ladders on this map. Or wait, maybe just a few, but it's going to be a scary thing for him. And also, I know a, a boomstick possibility on this map. You got to keep in mind, all the way back to the Desert Siege, Octane incredibly efficient with it that he decided to use. It's interesting. We, we don't see that many snipes on Berlin. Okay, given the size of the map and the space to work with, interesting enough. But here we go. Berlin search and destroy. Three to three tied up in this series as these two Titans go blow for blow. Here we go. Straight towards B. They are looking for the pick on Kismet. See if he can dodge those nades. Yeah, found the corner forward. Envoy though already. Already in a spot to make a play. Kismet hit the gas there, man. He's flying forward. Crim's gonna find the open tags into Drazza, but no kill. Hydra's gonna get that first blood. Envoy's down and out. Back and forth. We go. Just over a minute on the clock, and it's already a 3v3. Here comes Kenny. And he's in and he's planning. I mean, this is all you need. Man advantage. Bomb down over towards this B site. You have all your bases covered. Draws gonna be watching the flank. Get those doors wide open. Oh ho. Possibly Take a timer. Your time with this one. We'll see if the timeout does come through, but for now. It's a 3v2. The subliners with the advantage. Falls last man up. Goes for the gunning. Flying forward. There's the kill. LA Thieves win the round. Timeout has been requested. A slight pause now. We look to be dealing with something on the LA Thieves side of the stage. Referees and admins will be working on that one ASAP. The LA Thieves working through what seems to be a minor technical issue on Envoy's side of the stage shots. Envoy might have had his headset on the correct way, <gasps> and it just no. freaked him out because the sounds made sense and everything wasn't backwards. But either way, for LA Thieves, get the first round on board, and he did it without Octane. Uh, or Octane, excuse me, Envoy. Wow. Envoy's going to rejoin the lobby in just a moment. Just making sure everything is all good here. We are able, thankfully, to pause the match up. Almost ready to dive back into this. How we doing, Brooklyn? I'm doing good too. Thanks for asking. Almost ready to get back into this one. The lobby is now full, populated. Envoy's back in the game. We're almost ready to rock and roll. The chance to search and destroy has been a match with spicy. Spice so far here at the major. The last major of the year. The Vanguard season nearly done. Champ so, so close. We're very, very close to getting back into this match. I mean, I'm just seeing players try to keep that gunny warm as well in the lobby. Waiting for this round to start. Envoy still with the headset off, though, so... Still trying to figure out what it was with his headset. I can definitely appreciate off the opening break, though. It truly was that Envoy versus Hydra yeah. battle, right? Both players just trying to live inside each other's spawn, and... Is that what it was? Was his headset just on correct? <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't think that's what it was, but... As far as opening breaks on Berlin go, it was a solid bit of work. Envoy's still trying to work something out here. Kenny doesn't look nearly as concerned with what's going on, but we might be good to go. Headsets are back on. It looks like we are hot to trot, Brooklyn. Here we go. Round two of the search. And just for what it's worth, you know, since the, the Pro-Am for New York, five and two record on this map compared to the five and five of LA Thieves, so Slightly better, but it's not like Thieves are shabby or shy uh, on Berlin in the slightest. I'd say this has been some of the, the finest S&D we have had at this major throughout the year. Team's pulling out all the stops, maybe pulling out the first blood. Kenny, found his corner. We corner to be in. He is surrounded right now by New York Subliners players. Hydra and Kismet on the stairwell, shoulder to shoulder, waiting for the call. Paul's going to back him up. On the outside of train, Crim's watching the flank. Slow and steady, waiting for the advantage. No one wants to give anything away just yet. 
I mean, it's Kenny by himself. He's got a little bit of help from Drazen. Well, maybe Octane coming to join him. So LA Thieves on this read. They've been on point. Oh, Kenny, here they come, waiting for it. As no one wants to give anything away. Hardest part, at least one on the outside there. So now we back on up. But man, look at that clock. We are down to 45 seconds, ladies and gentlemen. Draza, we're in. The fight's done. Kenny guns them both. And Kenny, my word, absolutely ripping. And he's going to push the advantage. Four kills now on the trot. Your boy is nasty. Uh, yeah, so patient and so locked in in the 2v4. Where do you go? Look at number five on the minimap, by the way. If you have Prim6 ever try to make a move through mid, he will get spotted. Paul X, what do you do in this 1v3 with Bomb down over around this side? On that side of the map, you're going to wait for players. Paul's going to find one. Takes her, Kenny. Spree's done. 15 seconds remaining now. Paul trying to clean him up. No more. 2v3. Time's a ticking, though. you got to get going. Can Krim find the kill in the mid as well? Paul's got the bomb. And that is it. Surely the round is done. Now Krim can't kill two players in five seconds. But it's Vanguard. And ladies and gentlemen, anything can happen. No. LA Thieves. They run the clock down, and dude, uh, you slow start, you waste a lot of time dithering around, you wait for the perfect play, you get peace for Kenny. Not a great round from New York. And maybe that's the situation where Kenny or like no one on LA Thieves plays that corner because they did not check it. There are no stuns coming through to clear out all the sites. And there are some teams, I think LA Thieves especially, where like clockwork, they will use stuns to check every single little spot in that A room. But New York, they go for it blind, and obviously they get punished for it. Thieves last go around, they got the bomb down at B as quickly as you could possibly want. They're headed that direction again. Berlin continues to be a wonderful place to be right now for the LA Thieves. Draza, whoa, it was Octane, man. He absolutely guns the pair of them in another dreadful opening round for the subliners. Get as it gets. Bomb not down yet, though, but at least collected. And it's two players around fire. You're trying to get in close, and maybe if you can see some feet under the tank. Praying for a pixel. Whoop. Krim. Not a feet guy, goes to something else and he gets blown up. Now Paul is the last man left alive. It's another 1v3, the timeout has been requested. There's the plant over towards B. And it's Kenny, Kenny on the cross. And, hey, Paul with the read, but down to 8 HP. And there you go, I think a nice little wall bang maybe coming through to take him down. LA Thieves, whether or not Envoy can hear anything or whatever's going on with the setup, the rounds have still been incredibly clean. Yeah, whatever happens, yeah, the timeout has been requested. We are going to go back over to the main stage. Referees are dealing with another Envoy issue, but for now, he has been an issue. Great looks from the LA Thieves thus far, Chance. The first bloods typically come in pairs right now. I mean, it's New York have not found a whole lot of success here on Berlin. And Draws is also 5-0, I believe, so even a glide bomb you got to think about in the back of your mind. Talk about the mid-round mid adjustments all the time, but at a deficit like this, you have to figure something out incredibly quickly. Also, we always know dealing with delays, you hear the, the tiltedness of the crowd, the players have to deal with that as well. Maybe for some long, there's a little bit of extra time to talk something over and figure out what the game plan is going <laughs> to be, but again, they did not check all their corners when they went towards A last time. Absolutely get shut down and they have a, a few problems they need to solve. Yeah, we'll see. I mean, for the New York subliners, it's been piece up a piece, but it does look like we're almost ready to get back into this one. You know, some thumbs up and referees and admins there on stage, just making sure that everything is all good in the hood. Three straight rounds. We're going back into it now. Here we go. Round number four here on Berlin Search and Destroy. Let's get it. I think if I'm New York, maybe make an aggressive play call, start kicking in some doors, make some moves, and maybe that'll be the case. We saw Thieves do it, nades over top, nobody home from LA. That means that side is open. Didn't get the slide, but hey, he still got the safety. Kismet around the point with only four HP. And Thieves, they are quick to respond. And the mere fact he's already in the site now, pulls so much aggression on voice, smart dodge there. Stays alive, doesn't give away anything. Because is now trying to make the plant happen. In a brief moment, it will be done. Will the members of the Thieves now go for it? Here we have the hit straight onto it. Kismet doesn't get out with his life. Already got a lot of space to work with on the bomb site. It's a 2v3. Thieves with the advantage. And keep in mind, Tras is on a five, and they got the full flank coming through as well. So he's looking for picks, and hey, there he goes. Wins it. Octane will just know that he's trapped, and with 30 seconds, Paul has to fight everybody and completely Damn. surrounded, gunned down LA Thieves. Perfect thus far on Berlin. The technical timeouts have not slowed them down whatsoever. 4 and 0 oh. so far. Don't forget, we are tied up here in the grand final. 
closer to the lead. And they're just digging this map, man. I, I mean, the control was perfect, 3-0. The hard point was incredibly dominant, like 250 to 140 victory. They are looking flawless on this map. A little bit of ways to go, though. Still need a few more rounds. We know Subliners and the other S&Ds. Again, guys like Hydra were popping off. We haven't seen it just yet. Kismet on a donut. Hydra one and four. And Draza one more for the glide. Single kills all Draza needs now. Four straight rounds from the LA Thieves. We have seen plenty of full sales. We have seen plenty of 0 to 6 comebacks. 0 to 5, excuse me. One on me. the LA Thieves. One on the LA Thieves, indeed. Slower looks right now on defense from the New York Subliners. Hydra's checked out the B-bomb site. He's managed to make that relatively safe. We're not going to move whatsoever. And that's Draza. Slowly oh, now oh, making his oh, way oh, forward oh, to Kenny. Oh, 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 my just, God. Just give it a hit, son. Oh. Gets it. And now we're in, but you know the play's coming. Gunshots out. Doesn't land a single bullet. They're going to back one up, but hey. All could make something happen. I do. Ladders, windows, doors, you name it. Don't want to <laughs> deal with any of them. Hydra, though. Hydra. This is a lot of players coming around the corner. He's able to take down one, but the trades are in. And now, once again, the bomb site is open. But LA Thieves may be playing just a little bit of mind games. You have number three. If Kismet spots this out, they should know to stay around A. And Envoy does get spotted. It should be a freebie. There you go. They catch him again. 3v2. Kenny. Making his way through mid with that bomb in hand. Oh, Kism has got eyes on. Looking to find his first on the round. Damage dealt. No, Kenny somehow gets a kill and gets out. That's a 15 to play with. 2v2. Where's Draza? This might be the glide. Oh and there God. it is. Waiting for it the whole round, but with eight seconds. Don't let the bomb get planted. You know what he might be forced to do? Or maybe he's too far away. It's a battle for the kill. The only way for Kenny to win the round. And Kismet doing the smart thing. Subliners finally get a round win, which is the good news. Bad news, now they have to deal with that glide. Brains and brawn. Or Kismet here. One kill, so important. Takes care of business. You get the New York subliners on the board, maybe you can start to train that into a few more rounds. For the LA Thieves, they have continued to prove the dominance here. I mean, Kenny, six and one. Draza, his son, seven and one. Bring your kid to work day, and they are putting in the work. And if you know you're dealing with a glide, the bomb site is very risky. So this would be four men directly over towards A. Kenny and Draza, that father-son duo, be on defense. Kenny has switched up the spot. You got to use some nades in, in oh, this moment. Or actually, it's maybe a classic. they've all banged this before. They're going for it again. Kismet's on the hunt. You find anything? Always oh, making noise. Here comes Kenny. Dives in, finds it, traded out immediately. Three v three. So though you have all the side control, it's similar to like a control or even the hard point, not a fun moment to try to retake. So I'd say subliners happy to take their time. Slowing it down. You have the advantage right now if you hold them on that bomb site, but right on the outside, the LA Thieves. They have the backside covered as well. So if you try to flunk through mid, you are in trouble. Krim with the range there, big shots. Krim's gonna get that bomb. You might be able to get the plant towards A, but you know, here we go, Envoy's on it. Pollux is waiting for it though. Pollux oh is God. waiting, but the angle isn't good enough and the timing is perfect. And now you're running out a little bit of time, only 30 seconds left. Oh, it's a big win for Paul wins the fight on the front side. Now it's a 2v2. You still have to worry about Octane in the middle of the map and on the flank, once again, it's Envoy. You might be able to get the plant down, but Envoy is making moves. He is hitting it now. Here he goes. 2v2, he could win it all right here. Hydra standing out in the middle of seemingly nowhere. Here comes Paul, trying to do what he can on the point. He is in so much trouble. Octane's there, the round is done. The Thieves suffocate the subliners once again. And how good is that teamwork? I mean, Envoy, the timing perfect. Paul just not the angle for the job. And even in that moment, you see Octane posted up in P5. He's watching the cross, just saying to Envoy, go make the play. They are there. Feel free to take your time and even just playing with Paul towards the end. I mean, that is efficient. One more round now for the map advantage in this best of nine series. Again, LA is still striving for perfection on Berlin. New York certainly need the help, as does Kismet. The worst performance he's had in the match so far here in the entire tournament at 1-5. It's 5-1 in the round count. So, LA Thieves, this is to take the lead here in the series. And they are on offense. Here we go. Glides out. An opportunity to land, it does. Paul is gone. A bomb sight's open. On point finds a second. It's a 2v4. Oh my god, Krim now the last man alive. Krim in the 1v4 to stay alive on Berlin.
It's a big win, but he's gonna need a whole lot more than that. It's impossible. There is nothing you could do. You gotta beam all these players, but hey! Wait a minute. There's one. Wait a minute. Krim's still going. Sliding out, making a lot of noise! Ah, that's the round! That's the map! I believe for a second. I can't lie to you, friends. I'm gonna be completely honest, word to Veli, I actually believed he may have done it there, but ladies and gentlemen, the thieves don't. They close that one down. They take the round, they take the map, they take the lead. And they are, I mean, again, just complete control on this map. The game mode did not matter, and now just one more map away from crowning new champions oh, and oh, vanguards. Oh, oh. I mean, honestly, on Berlin, they're having more troubles with the windows than they are with any <laughs> players on the other team. Vanguard is a tricky one, and I think the trick's right there. Played on the side of New York Subliners. Krim, the only one that even vaguely had anything resembling success. Um, that is dominant from start to finish. Draza, obviously, on point. Able to get those glides as well. Now, the good news for New York, we are going back to hard point, and that has been their bread and butter, especially so against LAT. I mean, I think there's something along the lines of like eight and one against them with this roster in the game mode. And we will be going to Tuscan. The one New York is very happy to see a nine and three record overall with these four players on the stage. But if it's map point, LA Thieves, they enjoy some Tuscan too. Oh man, here we go. The final chapter of this epic grand final. We get to the Tuscan portion. Hard point first. We need to go to the game nine, search and destroy to decide it all. Nerves got to be kicking in, fatigue kicking in. Think of how hard the subliners had to go just today to make sure they qualified for champs. They get that job done. Krim wants the major win. The boys want that major win as well. And now you dig deep, you try to force the game nine, but it's, it's hard to do, man. Thieves have just got hotter and hotter and hotter as the series has gone on. Hey, you know, what is interesting for the Subliners roster too, obviously the initial matches that they had, as electric as it gets because of what was always on the line when it came to champs, they start out a tournament, they lose the first two maps, and then everything after that, it is just nonstop exciting Call of Duty. And when you're playing on the stage, you feel the crowd. These past couple maps, they have just gotten bodied. They're losing defenses on Gavutu, getting picked apart on Berlin. And it has been, what, 20, 30 minutes since Subliners have been able to feel good. Gosh, do we can to keep the crowd feeling good. The boys on stage, they certainly need the help. We've said it a few times and we ain't lying. Subliners, have they run out of magic here at the Major? Historic moment to get them the champs. Two more maps. And they stay alive here in the tournament. And they can walk away with a win. And don't forget the trophy, that incredible trophy. King Steer, here we go. Tuscan Hardpoint is on its way. Tournament point for the LA Thieves. And I am very excited to see this Kenny versus Kismet matchup. I mean, Kismet is the guy that creates that magic in the hard points for his team. Does it in every category. Kenny, though, I mean, he's been looking like an MVP throughout this tournament thus far in this series. Octane has also been shredding. <laughs> I don't know if the stream can hit Gush. But that boy's lit. New York's bringing the noise. That guy, I thought that guy's shirt was coming off. I was thinking about the terms of service for a moment there, but for now we're just thinking about Tuscan Hardpoint. We're just thinking about MVPs. We're thinking about the big win here. I mean, one side of the board, man, Kismet's been that guy. One bad map, all tournament long. That was the last one we saw. Everything else has been sensational. On the other side for the LA Thieves is Kenny. Kenny has been a demon. He has been the man to run it for the LA Thieves time and time again. Nothing but love. We have heard Kenny screamed out throughout the halls here in King's Theater so many times, and we may get to do it once more. Here we go, fist bumps are out. It is now time. Tuscan Hardpoint, match point LA Thieves. In New York in this tournament, I mean, what, six and one in Hardpoint? They were 13 and two throughout stage four. They have played LA Thieves on Tuscan three times, beat them on every single one.
They played him earlier today, 250 to 176. Subliners teed off on him. But I gotta say, I don't know if I would feel comfortable in the slightest. Map point for the tournament. Victory oh so close for LA Thieves. And how sweet it would taste to take him down on the hard point. Finally getting a big major win. Essential for both these teams. They've had such exciting seasons. They both guaranteed themselves a spot of champs. Here we go, though. Right on the hard point. The kills are up. Paul X is the guy getting them. Hydra now to back him up. Find the time indeed, but there you go. A foot race is on. Paul's looking to add to the pile. And so far, so good. Your boy speaks parcel time. Dude, and that felt like delayed nades from the opening break from LA, by the way. Like, New York was waiting for him to rain through, but LA still ended up putting up that little extra work. So, opening break, solid. This is as good as it gets when you start on this side. Now, Kismet, he feels the pressure. His team are getting picked apart, so he's trying to flank. Number five reading it. The gunfight in the hill. Kenny, every single time he starts a match, he fries. Every time you try to flank, Envoy shuts you down. As good as it gets from the jump, LA Thieves with the early edge. Thieves with the edge now, the rotation down. Envoy gets a little bit of warning shots, letting those boys know he's coming. And here comes Octane now into the kill feed. A ladder behind. Envoy finds a two, but that's going to be an opening now for the subliners to work with. Over towards the hard point, we now go. Dryzer, the man to soak it up. Back spawns all covered. Here's towards the front we go. Kismet trying to make the entry, and now the time being ticked up, and that's not going to be for too long. Here comes Dryzer. Breaks good. Leaves it back it, in. It's such a smart little play. The slight reposition from the nades and all the little things right now going right for LA. 30 seconds left on this hill is a great chunk of time. So New York Subliners, they're going to fight for it. They're going to be hitting through green and they know where a couple of these players are, but someone's floating. It's Octane. He does get traded and Subliners get the break. An important moment to make it happen, but look at what it cost them. Potentially that rotation, it turns into a foot race. See how it goes. Left hand side of the minimap in just a few moments. You're gonna see that all lock appear. And that is what these teams now need to lock down. P3, the dreaded fountain on Tuscan. And it is all LA Thieves. They are running it here. As these Italian cobbled streets now fill with the bodies of the subliners, it's their hard point now. Yeah, that's that devil you dance with, man. You fight for the scrap, you risk losing those spawns. And now in that rotation, not a fun place to start. Roof spawn is going to be locked down by Octane. You try to work through the back. Welcome to the head glitch. Kenny is here. A fountain hill. If the nades aren't coming oh, 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 through, oh. you collect all of this time. And these Kenny. right now, they Kenny. are feeling sweet. A Kenny running it again. That's a three spree now. Looking for the fourth pull with just enough gunning. Oh, oh my, my god! god. Pull to three, straight into the point now, trying to stay alive. Here comes the hit from the thieves. Pull, somehow finding the kills, somehow finding the time, and finally the nades. And it's a peach from Kenny. Two in the feed, Draza joins it. But you look at that, Paul does it with the gunny, but the attack, uh, well, uh -oh. they were on point. Fell off a little bit there, but even oh. for the 15 seconds, LA Thieves looking to collect. Already a 60 point lead gets bumped up a bit, and again, the rotation. Look who's here, it's Octane, where he falls, drops it there to pick up the scraps. Can only get one, but look at the spawns. I, I mean, out rotating right now, out playing and out gunning. LA Thieves bringing the fire. They're bringing it big time here on Tuscan. We crack 100 points. They start to bring the noise as once again, the kill feed seems to be theirs. Not willing to secede that whatsoever, not willing to secede the time. Now to the outside of field, Prim trying to make his way forward. Your Mountain Dew featured player looking to find at least one more kill, level up the feed, and there we go. Into it, we have no one from the subliner. They are getting choked out, man. Everywhere you go, Nate, land at your feet. It slows you down, but hey, if you're perfect on the push, you can deal with it. A couple kills go their way on Boy, though. Oh my. He's looking for more. Hey, good reads for New York. They take their time, they get the break, and Ooh. they need more moments oh. like that, because hey, Kismet popping pieces but the rotation again look who's getting there first it's la maybe the timing doesn't go their way hydra winning the big one Damn. but that 50 50 split man once again thieves in the hill first yeah the odds are good for the la thieves didn't they get it was an essential 20 not actually the full 20 towards that previous hard point crim entry to the point one is all he's gonna get as kenny and envoy now in the feed once again over to the point we have it LA Thieves doing a great job of literally running up the scoreline right now, looking to close out the Major. Kismet looks for the entry, finds one. Not to be deterred by the hit, as now the trades are there. Hydra is coming in through as Krim on the downstairs and right hot on his tail. It is going to be a member of the Thieves. Survive the nades. That is the plan right now on P5. You know Thieves are going to be coordinating. They're going to be chucking him in the point. And already, a couple players weak. 
Hydra's gonna fall from a wall bang, or actually whatever, just hit him in the face, and maybe getting in the face works out. The team kill from the nade for LA in survival in Woo! T5 for the subliners. And now, for the first time, maybe in a long time, New York have an opportunity to win the rotation battle. 10 more seconds before the hill pops. Paul looking for pieces. Ooh, Paul. Looking for pieces, a little bit of patience would have gone a long way, but now Octane. Now, I mean, Device with the team kills! There have been so many team kills in this tournament, I can't wait to see the stat line at the end of it. How many we've seen on this map alone, as that might have been a friendly nade, who knows at this point? Well, it's a late flank right now for New York that is being red. You try to push through the front, you get cut down, you go through mid, it is on lock! For a team that has not had success on Tuscan against the subliners, they are cranking up the heat just now. More pressure to mid, picked apart again. LA running the show. Doesn't matter what's happening right now in the game. There's 30 seconds left. The crowd is not necessarily behind the thieves, but that don't matter. They are bringing the noise themselves. Envoy can't get any more out of the kills. Big tags. Estraza still retains the hard point. So can I'm up. Finding three now in a row. Final 15 should be theirs. Rotation down. Eyes to the minimap. Bottom side. That's where those yellow arrows of the subliners are. How long can they hold it? Because here come the thieves. These guys have stuck together through thick and thin, and they have turned this into a potential dominant performance. Subliners desperate for life as they are getting bullied. And Envoy again on rotation causing problems. Paul trying to get a little bit of life and maybe that's enough. Subliners finally win a rotation. It took them a long time to make it happen. But hey, P2 for the moment they're in. Big win for Kismet now. It's a lot of time here to be had on P2. Tags him through. Kismet finally kills again. I don't know how he found that. That's three in a row. As Kismet now looking to find a bit more out of this spree, getting aggressive. Krim pushing the front line forward. No one now from the Thieves aside from Kenny. Close and not even enough. Another massive kill as Paul finally taking care of Thieves with a break. And, and they get the break and they get them pinned in their spawn. This might make it free for this rotation. Oh my God. And they want to collect the scrap. Oh my. Pick them apart along the way. It trades back and forth. But New York is still stuck on the right side. You're fighting for this scrap and hey, maybe you get it. But now you are so far away away from Fountain, and they're spawning up on both sides of the map. They are gifted to set up LA Thieves in full control. Full control right now. If the brakes are not fast, this could actually be it. Envoy's up. Here comes Kismet. Wins a big one. That's great. Spawns should be a little bit difficult now. Kenny makes his way forward, seemingly unstoppable as he finds another kill. Looking towards that roof side of the map now, and fire. It's a two-pronged attack for the LA Thieves. In they come out of seemingly nowhere, ladies and gentlemen. They're running it. Kills keep coming as Kismet Finally finds a breather. Time still ticking, LA Thieves. Yep. Everywhere New York goes, nades are landing at their feet. Oh, baby. They have been stuffed, made motionless, unable to get to the point. Heads getting ripped off when you approach. Oh, Losing oh, oh, oh. the gunfight inside of the hill. LA Thieves now just 20 points away from being champions. They cannot win it here, but they can win it by church. Every second counts as the New York subliners have come so far in their own major, but they did not account for the might of the LA Thieves. Five seconds for the win. Here we go. New York subliners, you cannot let them get on that point. Who through the front door but Kenny as he's trying to make this one happen. One break is all you need. Send your prayers to the COD gods. Here we go. The contest is on. The first fights are through. The trades are abound. Last man in is going to be obtained. The kills are there. And no one. Oh my god! They line up! The thieves are in! The counterattack is on. It's two seconds to go. This hard point's not done yet. Hey, still surviving for the moment, but is it enough? You get inside, but they hold on. Two more seconds. That is all LA needs. One more hit. One more hit. Crimp tries to hold it on right through the front now. Going for the contest immediately. Guns up. Kismet's there. Draws it through the side door. Oh, takes with the kills. Oh my god, it's in! They've finally done it! In front of a New York crowd, the LA Thieves have defied the every odd. And for the first time since Black Ops 4, 100 Thieves get to put a COD trophy in their cabinet. A long time coming for the LA Thieves. It was not an easy tournament run for them. Playing FaZe a couple different times, 
The only team to beat them, well, they just got their revenge. Moments like that, Tuscan, where they flip the switch and outright dominate. Run the show on Berlin. Ridiculous plays through and through. And finally, after all the pressure, after all the hate, after everybody saying player X should be dropped, why is Kenny running the sub? What are all these switches? <laughs> well, those are switches that has made them champions. Elation on the stage. The longest time coming, the LA Thieves have done it. And it is heartache for the New York Subliners. They walk away with a major victory, but not the major victory. As for the LA Thieves, man, I mean, it's been such a battle, such an uphill struggle for them for so long. They get it done. Odds against them. It didn't seem to matter. They're gonna be so happy with this going in the champs, a massive victory. Ladies and gentlemen, your major four champions, the LA Thieves. Tip the cap and pay your respects. Champions on stage and I mean again, across the board, lights out. I feel like for Draza, just a long time coming. A 5-3 victory that was dominant towards the end and deserves smiles on their faces. They just ran away with the man that was no hope and the subliners, they run out of steam. They put so much heart and soul in front of this incredible crowd to make sure they get to champs. That was the number one goal for so many teams coming into this one. There were two available spots left to, you know, on yesterday, late into the night, and today they get the job done. So it's a huge win there in the, in the grand scheme of things, but for now, the victory goes to the LA Thieves, hard fought battle, they hot, there was lightning pace towards the end of that series, man. I mean, no one could bring him down. Unreal, took phase down twice, bringing down the New York Sublines there in the finals. You have to tip the cap, you have to. I mean, without question, one of the coolest tournaments I, I think we've ever, ever. had in Call of Duty uh, history. You had impressive runs coming in from the Sunliners, the miracle run to qualify. LA Thieves also qualified at this one for chance as well. And I think, I mean, when it comes to champs, good luck making those predictions. There is set, literally all eight teams can show up and win. And if there was doubts about either of these teams that are on stage, proven contenders, proven champions. Well, that's it. I mean, I made a prediction coming in this one, but thank you, New York! Now we throw the guy Blaze on stage. Yo, Miles Chance, thank you for a fantastic cast. New York City, can we run it up one time for 100 Thieves? Make some noise! Wow, what a series. Oh boy, you get your first major win with 100, with, a, with the LA Thieves, man. How are you feeling right now after a crazy series? I'm feeling on top of the world, man. It's been a long time coming and we've been through so much this year, man. I'm just happy we could do it together. And I mean, Zach's first win too, so I'm happy with the guy. Leo, pass the mic on over to Zach. Draza! Yes, sir, fuck it then! Come on! Blowing it up all weekend. What was this series like for you playing against the hometown crowd? Everyone against you, it was a tough season, but you locked it in. Yeah, I mean, playing against the crowd is, uh, I honestly kind of like it because we were getting uh, booed a little bit, but uh, I mean, GG's to New York. Yeah. It Those guys fucking suck. Oh, no. The dog. My, my bad, home crowd. <laughs> hey, you know what? Yo, pass that on over to Mud Dog real quick, okay? Hey, I, I want to shout out Shane. He can't be here. We have some visa issues. Shane has done so much for us. I know he's at home watching right now. Yeah. I love that man. Hey, shout out Cap. He got so much shit talk on him, but I love what our coaching staff has done. I'm so proud of these guys to overcome all this adversity. Yeah. And I couldn't be happier for Zach getting his first land yeah. shit. Yeah. Let's go. Hey, Kendra. Yeah. Yo, man. Hey, tell me about this series, because you were absolutely frying. We talked about it beforehand, uh -huh. but you came onto the stage, y'all were down a bit. Yeah. But how did y'all manage to regain control after that after that fifth map when when New York went up? Well, I think everybody was waiting for us to play Bow Cage Hardpoint. We're going into it like this might we might win this low key. We win this as a series, but overall, I mean we just kept our composure. We knew our map pool was deep and we knew if we just played together, uh, we were gonna come out the dub.
Oh, man, there you go. Well, hello, Hey, Kenny. What's up? I want to let you know something as well. Yep. You are our Major Four MVP. Yeah. Give it up for Kenny. Yeah. Who would have thought? Ah. Who would have thought? You've been beaming all weekend, man. <laughs> Who would have thought? Four. I mean. MVP. <laughs> um, I mean, I think everybody saw, I mean, I wasn't playing the best with a sub, but I feel like the past few weeks I've been getting really comfy on it. And our team overall just has been playing together a lot. Um, just shooting together and everything, and I think it's made it easier for me to get comfy. Yeah. I think um, it showed this whole weekend. I played pretty good. All of us played fucking amazing. Yeah. Um, GG's in New York. Hey man, yo, classic form, okay? And yep. speaking of classic form, can you pass that mic on over to Octane, okay? The man himself, the anchor with the beams. Octane, man. Feels good to be back. It's been a while since Black Ops 4, but you and Kennedy together, y'all got it done. What does this mean for you? Uh, to be honest, I feel like I cry right now. The last two Knew years it. have been <laughs> nothing special, um, but to win under this banner, it's the best feeling in the world. In front of maybe the best crowd I've ever played in front of in my life. Man. Uh, this is, uh, it just feels good to be back, man. That's it. There you go, man. Pass the mic on over to big old J Cap over here in the back. J Cap. Coaching this team, I know it's been something special right here. Tell me what it's been like for you, and also talk to me about the organization of Los Angeles Thieves, because I know Nation and John Robinson wish they could be here, and this is a special moment. I mean, dude, it's been an up and down year, but everyone's, you know, in my ear. Roster change this, roster change that, Kenny came out and stuff. Sam's Octane's watch. Bro, like, I, like, I could evaluate talent. Like, I know these guys have the potential, and we didn't show it all year, but we finally put it together. And we played some beautiful Call of Duty this week. Beautiful Call of Duty. Beautiful work. And, uh, you know, shout out Nate, shout out John Robinson. Wish those guys could be here. But, the, nah, we're good. Yay. Love those guys, love the org. Let's go. Draza, looks like there's a new king of LA. Hey! One more time, make some noise for your major four champions, the Los Angeles Thieves. Just like that, the LA teams joined the winner's circle here in the 2022 CDL Vanguard season. Shout out to the MVP, Kenny. The man was absolutely frying all weekend long. Guy was going off, man, when they needed him most. Four majors and four different champions. The season that LA Thieves had, it's been so tough, but finally they're able to put it together. They figure out their gameplay. Their search and destroy was cleaner. The SMG duo was hitting those routes. We saw it in this series. Do not challenge them on Berlin. They only lost a couple of boat cages and a Desert Surge s &D. But in the end, the map Pull is deeper. When you have a guy like that in MVP form, he's done it before, he can do it again. He certainly did today. Woo! Allie, how you feeling? I'm feeling great. I mean, overall, this was such a feel-good major, and I love hearing from all players in LADs where, you know, uh, they were facing so much adversity. Everybody, you know, the roster change. I was one of those harsher critics. I was like, I don't yeah. know if this is going to work. Obviously, they know what they're doing over at the LADs camps, and they really proved everybody wrong here today. Yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a surprising result for a lot of people based on the, you know, the season that they've had so far, but they've started to fulfill the promise that we thought we would see from them. A really good result from them, and it's it's so great to see Kenny back to that kind of level. It brings me back to World War II kind of vibes, and that guy was insane then. He was insane this weekend fully, thoroughly deserved it. Not just Kenny as well, Octane definitely had a big shift this year, and he started to dominate big time, but still, hats off to New York Subliners, because here in Brooklyn, we showed them a lot of love, and they gave us a lot more that love back. I mean, listen, they had an impossible feat to do this weekend. It was to make it to finals, to punch their ticket into champs, and they did that. They gave us some crazy moments, and you know, that, that series is a long series, right? Endurance comes into play. They just played against an LA Thieves team where those guys have a ton of experience. On the other side, it's really only Krim, and the other three guys are still young in their career. That is a lesson learned. I have no doubt in my mind that with the plays like Kisman is making and Hydra, how elusive he is as a player, they 
they will get their championship eventually. It just was not right now as the LA Thieves are ready to go. Right, and Ali, I mean, that's a great example set by Krim6, and um, the fact that he was able to will it with this roster and everybody put in that hard work to make it to champs, that's what legends do. I mean, they will the impossible. We talked about Krim cementing his career, cementing his legacy. Yes. I think he's already done that with this run, specifically with the New York Subliners, absolutely cemented. But I think something really well learned from the LA Thieves win here is that even veteran players that we have seen for a very long time can continue to grow, can continue to impress us and show us something new. And I feel like I really got that out of Octane and Kenny this day. Yeah, and honestly, I think I kind of just go with the same sentiments in terms of that that run. We, we were having meetings talking about what they needed to do. The performance online translated over towards land that time. And that was the problem last time. This time around, though, they got the job done. The fact that they have qualified for champs is I think, miraculous. Incredible. Miraculous that they found themselves there. So the fact that we get to see them again, they get to go again, they should be proud of themselves. Right, so ladies and gentlemen, Major 4 has been something special. We could all fill it in the air, baby. But from all the teams that competed at this event and the teams that are going to champs, Nameless, it's quite obvious to see, man. The level of competition is just so high. We don't know who's going to win at this point in We've time. We've had four different champions. We actually have no <laughs> clue who is going to win champs, but we know these teams are going to be grinding, trying to improve. A lot of the big-name teams, there's holes in their gameplay throughout this weekend. A couple of weeks until champs, man. I cannot wait to crown our season champion. Yeah, heading into champs ton, man. How are you feeling? Oh, man, I said, like, literally anybody can win it. And I, I came so ball. happy that I NYSL have qualified because it is literally the best eight teams that we have yeah. in the CDL. Without question, there's no sort of like, ah, you know, these teams should have made it through. NYSL made the changes that they need to. LA Thieves made the changes that they need to, and they will find themselves in champs. Of course, it will sting for New York right now, but the fact that they have that opportunity once more, Valley, is just such a testament to that team. I'm gonna say now, head into champs, LA is definitely feeling it. Draza has his swagger on a million right now. And uh, when it comes to the way that these guys are playing Alley, LA, they're one of my favorites going into that. I'm right there with you, especially because we're heading to LA for champs. So technically, it'll kind of be like a home event for them. They thought the crowd here was crazy. Well, when we go to LA for champs in August, it should be even crazier. But I will worry a bit just because we've had four different major champions. Hey. Technically, hey. technically, five different land champions if you count the pro am where New York made the run. True. So that's. You know, it's a toss-up. Either one of these teams are going to go back-to-back -back or we're going to have six different champions this year. Right, you saw the bracket. It was nothing but craziness. Here are the final points. And Nameless, you see the great out teams? They will now be joining us at the Galen Center for Champs next month. We bid them farewell, man, but the bracket is going to be nuts. I mean, we're going to have Atlanta Faze and New York Subliners round one of God Champs. I mean, who would have drew that up? Oh, man, I, and honestly, I think it was just I was going to reflect on the bracket there as well. Sometimes you'll see some of these events where some teams get maybe a slightly easier bracket. There's no such thing. Both these two teams oh, just do wait, just not wait. get it yet. They do not get it champs, but for the, the victories that these teams pulled off to get it, teams be faced twice. 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 That's I, wild. I have, a, I have a question. Would you guys like to preview the champs bracket right I would now? I would love to see the champs bracket. All right, let's go ahead and get the champs bracket on the screen. I don't know what to expect at all, but uh, with NY being the eighth seed, oh God. my God. Subliners versus Face at the top of the bracket. Let's have an open discussion. How y'all like this? I mean, I think that matchup is definitely the spiciest that we have in round one. I mean, we also saw the Optic Ultra match went all the way to a game five, and, you know, Optic were able to edge them out there on that bow cage. But yeah, I mean, I think those two matches are going to be absolutely insane. But if there's anything we learned from this weekend, there is just no way to predict what's going to happen. Not at all. And I think one of the craziest things when it comes to a champs bracket is these teams have two weeks knowing who they are going to play. Like the VOD review, the amount of work and counteracting strategies they're going to go into this championship weekend, into your round one. It should be game five all around. All right, this is day one, champs weekend. I can't wait. We're going to kick things off with the Seattle Surge, AKA your major three champions, baby, facing off against your boys, son, the London Royal Ray. Yeah, both of these teams are very, very disappointing weekend. They will both be looking for the bounce back. Of course, joint last place in with these two teams. So they'll both be looking at it as a winnable one, but 
very much work to do for both schools. All right, now, I don't know about you guys right now, but if you saw just a second of Major Four, or even if you was in this venue, you felt the electricity in the air, make sure you copy your tickets right now to meet us in Cali at the Galen Center live August 4th through 7th. I mean, you got to go. Now we see all the teams. It's all the best teams we have in the league. We thought New York was crazy. L.A. is going to be nothing but a step above. All right. So it's about that time to close out the desk. Any last words? Can Can't I wait for like, champs? It, it, I mean, oh. I'll just go. Just go. Just start talking. If I was to give another MVP, this crowd, best we've ever had in the North America side, 100%. easily. I, I would say, you know, this London crowd that we talk about quite often would rival that as well. I'll be biased on that front. Okay, okay. 100% the best crowd we've had in NA ever. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's about that time to shut the desk down. And this has been a tree something I will never forget for the rest of my life. I want to thank you all for making this experience so great. But shout out to the Los Angeles Thieves for winning it all here in Major Four. The up and down season, it was so worth it because that taste of victory was probably so sweet. Also, shout out to the New York Subliners for throwing a fantastic event from the venue to the activations to the crowd to the people. You guys make Call of Duty what it is. Thank you so much for pulling up because this crowd is just so friendly and so fun. I love the chance and the noise. But coming up next in LA, it's gonna be it, baby. It's gonna be the conclusion of the CDL 2022 season. You do not wanna miss it live at the Galen Center next month. We'll catch you guys in Cali. But that's it for me, Ali, Nameless, Tun, and the rest of the crew. Shout out to production. Shout out to Activision Blizzard. And once again, shout out to you guys at home. Without you, we are nothing. Hope you all have a great night. And we'll catch you next month for more CDL action. We love you. Take care.